Good luck, human. Good game. Let's do it again sometime. Oh, hey, it's you. All right. Come on, I'll lead you in. My name's Samson. Brock Samson. This friggin' place is like a maze. Ah, Mr. Samson. I'd lost track of you for a moment. <gasps> And you've brought the player! Splendid! On behalf of everyone at the inventory, I cannot begin to express our unbridled elation to see you return for another night of high-stakes poker. Yeah, speaking of high stakes, things may have gotten stabby over in the mumbly peg room. Mr. Samson, I once again remind you that the inventory is not your personal abattoir. Yeah, yeah, send the cleaning bill to Venture Industries. Said the last time. Ah, as always, I am Commodore Reginald Van Winslow, retired, and I will hey, be your host chance. for tonight's perilous on voyage on the seas of chance. <laughs> Thanks, man. Hey, Reggie, these new chairs are great. It's like my keister is being held aloft by the wings of tiny velvet angels. Let me try, Sam. I'm afraid there's no room at the table for your plus one, Sam. That's okay. Max will make his own fun. Come out with your arms akimbo, Mendoza! So when do we get this clam bake on the road? In a few minutes. We're still waiting for... Hello! Hello, future losers! Our remaining contestants. But seriously, whose HDMI for do I have to kiss to get a drink around here? I really love what you've done with the place. Very, uh, Boardwalk Empire meets Silence of the Lambs. As I was saying, your are Can we get going? Steve and I have a tea time at Spyglass. Eh, uh, I suppose we should. I'd hoped our final contestant would be here by now. But it appears that we'll be one short tonight. Deal me in. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Everything seems to be in order. The chips are stacked. The deck is shuffled. Let the tournament begin! Gentlemen, I leave you to the tender mercies of GLaDOS. Good evening. Great. What the, the hell, hell Wayne? Hubba, hubba! This completes the first test of the contestants' poker faces. The bad news is you all failed miserably. The good news is you appear to be evenly matched. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. I'm in. Call. I call. I think I'll call. I'm back. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Call. kitten videos on my other processor. He kind of lost track of the hand. Guess I'd better fold. Ah. 
call. I'll uh, bet. I call. Call. What to do? What to do? What to do? I'm not just all in. I'm all caps in. Ooh, nice. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Nah. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. All in. Mr. Williams has a pair of tens. Sam has two pair. Sam wins the hand. Hey, I won! Neat! Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. Ouch. Wendy is gonna kill me. Well, not literally. At least I hope not. I don't really have a good track record on that front. Something's been bothering me about you. Is it my raw animal magnetism? Well, yeah, but what I'm really wondering about is your wheel. <laughs> what about it? I don't have toilet paper stuck on it again, do I? No, but you've only got one. How do you stay balanced? Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> Just kidding. I got more gyroscopes up in here than the Hubble. Check. Check. I think I'll bet. Uh-uh. And I'm out. <laughs> really? I'll raise. I can't figure out whether your re-raise indicates a lack of poker skill or a lack of manners. To be fair, it could easily be both. All in. Damn. Big what mistake. Now? Great day in the morning. Dang. Shazbot. The player has two pair. Sam has a pair of sixes. The player wins. Fold. Call. Jack -a That checks like a watered-down marinara. Weak sauce. Hmm. Yeah, I'll bet. Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! All in! Great day in the morning! You folded? I didn't predict that. Now I have to reprogram my AI again. Please turn off all cell phones and recording devices. Woo, nice. Yea, I say unto thee, they that sow the wind shall reap the mother-loving whirlwind. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Get on with it. Claptrap has a flush. Mr. Samson has a flush. Claptrap wins with a high flush. You thought I was bluffing? Sucks to be you! Mr. Samson, 
Your pupils are dilating. Good hand. Oh, seriously! Well played. Brock Samson has been eliminated. This is a joke, right? I'm not very good at jokes. But here's one. What's yellow and black and red all over? What? Brock Samson if he doesn't leave this table. Ah, good one. You're more emotional than most of the robots I've met. All CL4P TP general purpose robots are equipped with 8th generation emotive resonators, allowing them to mimic a panoply of human emotions, ranging from sarcastic sympathy to wildly unbridled enthusiasm. So you don't actually feel emotions, you just fake them? There's a difference? Uh, let me get back to you on that. Nah. Sam takes the pot. Don't be discouraged. Running in fear is a pretty natural response to a six-foot-tall dog with a gun. I call. Jack? Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Hmm, carry the three. Everyone hop aboard the race train! Woo woo! Nope. I know something you don't know. Not about this hand, just generally. <laughs> Your boldness is palpable. I'll bet! Go on with your bad self! Oh! I'm going all in! Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Mr. Funny Chips has a full house. The player has a full house. We have a tie, and the pot is split. Now that you've played a few hands without bleeding all over the cards, it's time to move the blinds up to 600 and 1200. Am I eating crazy chips, or did you used to have a different voice? Oh, you mean more like this? Hello! That's it! What happened to it? Criminals used to laugh at me. They said my voice was too goofy, so I got a voice coach. And now, when I say freeze, dirtbags, the dirtbags really freeze! Okay, but what's his excuse? Claptrap steals the pot. Well, that was easy! So where was I? Oh yeah, uh, Max just fell in love with his Jason Alexander impersonation one day, and it kind of stuck. Considering the alternatives, I kind of dodged a bullet there. And hey, what is the deal with antipasta? Does it blow up when it touches regular pasta? I mean, come on! I'll raise. Call. I think I'll bet. A fold. How fascinating. Nope. Sam takes the pot. Uh, just so you know, I was bluffing my butt off in that hand. I'll call. That's a check. Checking. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Check. Betting. 
Let's raise. Interesting foam. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. Call. That... It's hands like this that remind me why I usually let Max handle all the impulsive gambling decisions. Claptrap steals the pot. So that's what you humans call bluffing. Because seriously, I had nothing. So Sam, when can I expect to enjoy the next thrilling multi-chapter adventure of the Freelance Police? Aw oh, gee, Max and I are just trying to enjoy the downtime. We haven't been this busy since the 90s. Downtime, clown time. Tell you what, you come over to Gearbox, we'll have you guys set up in a Borderlands 2 expansion pack toot suite. I don't know. We're not really first-person shooter material. Speak for yourself, Sam! The little guy might be a wee bit overpowered, though. We might have to nerf him a few degrees. The player has a pair of queens. Sam has two pair. Sam takes the pot. Come to Papa, little chips. Don't anthropomorphize the money, Max. I mean, Sam. Calling? I call. <laughs> I'll bet. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. I fold! Sam takes the pot. Is this what good luck feels like? It's time to raise the blinds to 800 and 1600. I'm gonna check. Let's see if I can suck you in with a bet that doesn't trigger your primitive flight reflex. Oh, wait, did I say that out loud? I fall. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Check, please! I check! The little robot has King High, and the player has a pair of sixes. The player wins the hand. All that. Have you been merchandised yet, Claptrap? Have I been merchandised? Bubble up! My image is plastered on so much crap that even I'm getting sick of it. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, feminine hygiene products, and that's not even counting the 43 different action figures. Action figures? Oh yeah. You want one? Yeah. Well, not for me, of course. It's for my uh, friend, Max. Don't go dragging me into your arrested adolescence. Tell you what, meet me behind the inventory after the tournament, and I'll set your friend up with a rare mid-condition worm-dancing claptrap. Yes! I mean, I'm sure Max will be very happy. You know, most people would think twice about honking off a six-foot-tall dog with an itchy trigger finger. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. Call. All the heck in. Who the what now? The player has a flush. Sam has a pair of fives. The player wins. Well, of course 
she won with those cards. Even Steve could have won with those cards. And all he can say is, hey -o. Hey -o. Shut the f*** up, Steve! People say I'm annoying. Call! Uh, <sighs> hope this cliff has a parachute. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Do, 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 do. I bet! This is just like watching armadillos roll into each other to please the comely armadillo queen. Mr. Trap has a straight. Sam has a pair of jacks. Clap Trap wins. Woo! That's gonna hurt! Sam has been eliminated. Are you sure about that? Cause I think Max stole one of my chips. I'm sure. Ugh, geez, Sam, have a little dignity. Two men enter! One robot leaves! Hey, know what the best poker players shave with? A razor! Get it? A ra- Ah, I'll shut up forever. I'm betting! Check. Really? I call. I'll check that. Hey! No fair overflowing my register like that! Fold. The player takes the pot. You know, it's just a matter of time before you're blown away by my superior robot brain, right? I think this means his brain is about to self-destruct. You should probably get ready to dock. Think, think, think. I'm going all in. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Claptrap steals the pot. I've taken the liberty of moving the blinds to 1,000 and 2,000. Do, 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 do. Heh, let's go all in. Nice to see I'm not the only one who can get goaded into a horrible decision. Mr. Funny Chips has Queen High, and our silent friend has Ace High. The player wins with an Ace Kicker. Congratulations on your first tournament victory! In addition to your significant financial winnings, management would like to reward you with these celebratory inventory tokens. <laughs> you blinded me with silence!
Welcome back, poker enthusiast. While you were away, our engineers completed construction of the inventory's brand new Bounty Challenge Randomizer. Splendid! Now the onus is on you. Simply complete these three simple tasks, and an opportunity to compete for a magnificent treasure will avail itself. The buy-in, please. Let's make this quick. I have experiments to supervise. I fall. I go. I go. Check. Not this time. I don't believe in the no-win scenario, but I do believe in the probably not going to win scenario. Fold. Claptrap steals the pot. That's right! You better run! Audio output is caught in a loop. It happens sometimes with low-cost sound cards. Should I do anything? A swift blow to the head wouldn't help. But it probably wouldn't help either. Ah, oh, jeez. Check that. Checkorama. Hmm. I bet. Who dug it? That's a lot of small ones. All right. All in. Who the what now? Just remember, it's only a game. Sometimes an investigation leads to a dead end. And like most dead ends, this one's full of garbage and sleeping hobos. You can't spell fold without fold. I'm out. Ash grabs the pot. Poker ain't a game for cowards. Thanks for another crappy hand, lady. You're welcome. It's nice to be appreciated. Yeah, I'll call. I call. <laughs> Crap. I got a peanut skin wedged in my teeth. Oh, I hate that. How do you need some floss? You carry floss? Well, it's actually garrot wire, but it's great for getting to those hard-to-reach places. You'll probably want to run it under some hot water first, though. It's got a few chucks. Yeah, thanks, but I think I'll take my chances with the gum disease. Ooh, a fold! Snaky! Claptrap steals the pot. Thanks for the free money, everybody! Pong. Raise. 
Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I fall. Ha ha ha. I wouldn't give these cards to my twelfth worst enemy. Twelfth worst? One through eleven are dead. Wouldn't be much point. I'll fold. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Like taking candy from a baby. Hey, do any of you guys know anything about trading cards? Not since I discovered girls. I might know a few things. Why? Well, there was an incident at the Venture Compound yesterday, and well, Dean's shoebox of collectible trading cards kinda got hit by some stray flamethrowers. On Pandora, we keep our shoes in fireproof lockers. Well, I figure I got about three or four days to replace them before Dean notices they're missing, but I don't know where to start. What kind of cards are we talking about here? Baseball? Wacky packages? Bases of mirth? Well, according to Dean's database, it's a full set of alien invasion cards. Well, that's gonna be difficult. Why? Alien invasion cards, published in 1964, were a series of 255 collectible cards that depicted a fictional alien invasion of Earth. Due to their lurid tableaus and violent imagery, they were quickly yanked off the market. As of 2012, only a few hundred intact sets are known to have survived. Oh, man, I had a few alien invasion cards when I was a kid. Practically had to trade away my bike to get them. So you're saying I'm screwed? Probably, but I'll see what I can do. Thanks. Wait, you said 255 cards, right? Yes. I could swear Dean's database listed 256 cards. It's probably a typo. Have you seen the way teenagers type these days? Yeah. A re-raise? I thought this was Hold'em, not No Limit Douchebag! Oh. Not this time! Fold. The player takes the pot. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. I fold. Fold. Calling? Check. Check a Rudy. Check. All right, that's it. I'm flipping a virtual coin to make my decision. All in. Great day in the morning. Damn. Ah, oh, fuzz hell. nuggets. I'm all in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. <laughs> Son of a. Mr. Trap has a flush, the player has a flush, and Ash has a flush. On the side part, Ash wins. And on the main part, the player wins with a high flush. That's a relief. I was worried you might screw that up again. If I had a hand like that, it'd look really weird on the end of my dog arm. Did you know that there are jellyfish that can live forever? I am. 
Who wants to be an immortal jellyfish? All in. Great day in the morning! Calm. Sure, why not? If you had cards like these, you'd pay anything to see the flop. But for now, I'll just call. Check. Wow! A check! I'll alert the media. Check. Ecce, oozers lay. Check. I'm gonna bet. Meh. Nope. Folding? But you could have lost so much money. Nice. Crap! Ashley has a pair of jacks. Brock has two pair. Brock wins the hand. Cool. Mr. Williams has been eliminated. Well then, guess it's time to slam down a few beers and dream up an excuse for losing all that money. So like I was saying, I guess that would be pretty dull. Drift, 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 sting. Drift, 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 sting. That's right! Cop traps all up in this pot now, suckers! That's all in, jackass. Why would I want to be all in a jackass? Woo, nice. Call? I call. <laughs> Check. Okay, I'll bet. The judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. I'm walking away from this before I have to run. Asterisks! The little robot has two pair. Sam has a pair of fours. Claptrap wins the hand. You thought I was bluffing? Sucks to be you! So like I was saying, you know, as long as I get fresh batteries every couple hundred years, I'm pretty sure that I'm effectively immortal. That's really depressing! Let me show you how we go all in, Pandora style! Oomps, 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 oomps. Big mistake, Junior. Fold. I've scanned over 200 million poker tournaments for a replication of your current strategy and found zero results. So you're a pioneer now. Call. I'll check. Check, check, check. Such a boring word. Check. I'll check. Claptrap has a pair of fours. Brock Samson has King High, and you have Queen High. Claptrap wins the pot. The only thing better than winning is winning again! Anywho, I wouldn't worry about it. 
The way you're going, I'm pretty sure someone will put you out of your misery long before the ennui of immortality kicks in. Promise? Trust me. I'll pull the trigger myself. Looks like I'm folding. Again. Claptrap steals the blinds. Am I really that scary? I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. I don't know. Ah, oh, damn it, Alan. Great day in the morning. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. Holy crap! There's a virus in my system, and it's making me bet all my chips! Somebody stop me! Nah, I'm just messing with you. You're doomed. Oh, fuzz nuggets. Just remember, it's only a game. Nope. Oh, yeah. Mr. Funny Chips has two pair. Mr. Samson has two pair. Brock wins with an ace kicker. Well, that's pretty much how I figured it'd go down. Fold. I think I'll call. Mm. Let's raise. You better not be cheating with some sort of x-ray attachment there, R2. Why would I need to cheat? My cybernetic processors are more than capable of whipping your primitive ape brains. Brock steals the blinds. Get ready for your vacation, boys, because here comes the Samsonite. Anywho! Besides, x-ray lenses are so 20th century. All the cool robots are using quantum prediction fields these days. But not you, right? Um, yeah, right! That sounded like the shutdown of a quantum predictor field. No, that was, uh, my, um, internal dialysis regulator, which I need for my diabetes that I have. Now these cards are making me tingly. Call. Hmm. Check or bet? Check. Bet. Check. Bet. <sighs> I'm going all in. Damn. Here's my bet now. So call me maybe. <sighs> I call. <laughs> Check. Uh, check. Yeah, okay. The little robot has a pair of jacks. Rock Samson has Queen High, and the player has a pair of jacks. On the side part, the player wins the hand, and on the main part, the player wins with an ace kicker. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Beaten by humans? Man, I'm gonna catch hell from the other robots at the next Kill the Humans meeting. Wait, forget I said that last part. Call. 
Call. Hmm. All in. <gasps> Sam, no! Think of the children. What children? Um... Big mistake, Junior. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, hold. Sam takes the pot. Wade, was that a pity win? I call. I call. All in. Woo, nice. Wow, I uh, really thought you'd fold there. He's got to be bluffing, right? Now, Sun Tzu says that you should always retreat to higher ground when your enemies are fighting each other. Or, uh, maybe that was Shaft. Crab cakes. Crab cakes. The player has two pair. Sam has a pair of threes. The player wins. Sam has been eliminated. I think I've learned a very important lesson tonight. Wheat bread is not an effective coagulant. It's cute when you jam words together like you know what they mean. Wow. Stuck in a showdown with Captain Smalltalk over here. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I should put the two of you in a cryogenic unit so that I can replay this tournament over and over at my leisure. But that would be wrong. But you want this pot? Go ahead. Take it from me. Rock steals the pot. Ah, go. Eleven percent of all poker moves are checks. It's not an interesting statistic, but neither was your chance. I'm gonna bet. Rock steals the pot. Hey, if this keeps up, I may be home in time for doubt. My calculations reveal that calling was absolutely the right move. If you want to lose. Check. Ah. Check. What's that? Brock has a pair of fours, and our silent friend has two pair. The player wins. What would Bonham do? I'm all in.
Son of a bitch! The player has a full house. Mr. Samson has a flush. The player wins the hand. Congratulations, you didn't screw the pooch. Jeez, usually I get a little foreplay before getting kicked in the balls like that. Congratulations, you have completed your first slate of bounty challenges. At the commencement of the next tournament, you will be given the opportunity to compete for a wondrous treasure. The player wins again! I can't believe I lost the shields in Yarnell over there. Another round of high-stakes excitement, eh? Splendid! And just in time for a momentous announcement as well! you finally replaced the urinal cakes. Yes! And we've renewed our liquor license! All right! Libations may be purchased with the inventory tokens you've acquired. Be warned that the inventory will not be held responsible for the deleterious effects that alcoholic spirits may have on your gameplay. Della what? And with that disclaimer out of the way, on with the tournament! As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. I see you've completed your bounty challenges. Well done! As a reward for fulfilling the challenges, you will be given an opportunity to win a fantastic treasure from one of our other competitors. Mr. Trap, please place your bounty item on the table. Do I have to? Yes. What in the name of Dolly Madison is that? That little thing? It's just my 2012 Spike Video Game Award for Character of the Year. It looks familiar. Is it valuable? Are you kidding? Since I snagged this baby, I've been wined and dined by every mover and shaker in the entertainment industry. I've always wondered what it would be like to move and or shake. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. It's a mathematical certainty that 80% of you are going to lose tonight. And 100% of you will eventually die. Math is fun, don't you think? What gives with the decor? What gives is that the player has deployed a complete set of table unlocks, triggering Rule 137C of the inventory's rule book. Rule 137C? <clears throat> When a player purchases and deploys a set of felts, decks, and chips of a similar theme, the current management of the inventory will be obliged to spare no expense in decorating the inventory in a style commensurate with that theme. Who came up with that crazy rule? That would be the inventory's founder, Mr. Dixon Kent. Is it safe? Safe? <laughs> of course it's safe! The inventory would never do anything to endanger its favorite customers. That's us, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> Is it me, or did this place just take a turn for the sleazy? It's Pandora Night at the Inventory! No, a little robot friend is correct. Thanks to the player's deployment of the Borderlands 2 table unlockables, the inventory is proud and contractually bound to present the sights, sounds, and smells of the dangerous and desolate world of Pandora! Classy. Like a strip club with explosives. Check. Hmm. I'll bet. Mm. 
Was probably the right move. Brock steals the pot. Uh, for the record, that was a bluff. Nope. Wait a minute. This run of crummy cards is just one of your twisted little experiments, isn't it? Maybe. Or maybe you're just too cowardly to turn lemons into lemonade. Ah, go. Check. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the little death that brings total obliteration. I'll bet. I believe it is what the kids are calling dubstep. Oh, Jesus, can't you play some Zeppelin or something? You better get used to this sound, Grandpa, because the dub is the only music that survives the great digital event horizon of 2033. Boom! Great, another reason to die young. Well, if I were you, I'd probably be peeing in my pants about now. I'll check. Sure, why not? I think you forgot a few chips there, Sparky. Call. Oh. Brock has a pair of tens, and you have a pair of jacks. The player wins. I call. I'm in. I'll check. I could bet. I'll bet this much. Hey, I just had a great idea. When this is over, the four of us should like grab a beer and armor up, maybe take a freighter to Pandora, and like totally go on some missions together. I don't know. Uh, I'm kind of a loner. Yeah, I've got a thing. Place later tonight. Ah, come on! It'll be great! With my brains and your collective capacity for mindless destruction, we'll find the fault in no time. Okay, but only if I can bring Max. He really puts the ahem and mayhem. And the viscera in evisceration! Of course! The more minions, the merrier! Ash? Six hours? Six or seven hours, tops! Of course, uh, Bandoran hours are eight times as long as Earth hours, but... What? Nothing. Brock! You know, this whole thing falls apart without a tank. Ah, uh, what the hell? I haven't been to another planet in weeks. All right! Steve and I will be waiting outside after the tournament with your release forms, your level one gear, and your inoculation shots. I've got a bad feeling about this. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Ha <laughs> ha Call. I'm going all in! Just like I was with your mama last night! Turns out she's a really good poker player. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Who dug it? That's a lot of simoleons. I'm... all in. Great day in the morning! Nah. Ah, oh, jeez.
What the hell? Claptrap has two pair, and Mr. Williams has two pair. Claptrap wins with the higher pairs. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. I'm out. It's a lot easier deciding which Deadite to shoot. Ah, what the hell. <laughs> Guess I'll call. I'll check. I'll check. Although usually a sign of a weak hand, a check can also be used to disguise a stronger hand. In your case, I'll assume it's a sign of confusion. Checking! Checko! You might want to pace yourself there. Think, think, think! I... raise! Oh, Sam! Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that! <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. This is too confusing for a simple guy like me. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I'm not yet. <laughs> Nuggets. Mr. Trap has three of a kind. The player has a straight. And Ash has a pair of eights. On the side part, the player wins the hand. <laughs> Lucky bastard. And on the main part, the player wins. Ash has been eliminated. Or at least he's about to be. Ah! You know, you could have just asked me to leave. So, on Pandora, you can get guns and vending machines? Guns, ammo, medkits! You name it, we vend it! What about candy bars? Candy bars? What kind of monster would sell candy bars and vending machines? Where innocent kids could get their hands on them! But here on Earth... Yeah, here on Earth, you've got an obesity epidemic, people! But on Pandora, our children are healthy, lean fighting machines! So suck it! Well, since we're just oozing with confidence, I'll check too. I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Ugh, mouth checks! Yeah, I'll bet. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. Rock steals the pot. I could do this all night. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. If I'd wanted someone to fling garbage at me all night, I could have stayed home watching C-SPAN. Call.
Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. He's got to be bluffing, right? Uh-uh. Looks like O'Clappy's just bought himself a big old sack of pain. Well, that's unfortunate. The little robot has two pair. The player has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. Claptrap has been eliminated. Okay, guess that's it. I'm dead. Hey, where's the regeneration tunnel? We don't do that here. But I can make a whooshing noise if that will make you feel better. Crap. This bloody should have punji sticks at the bottom. I call. Check. Now most of the poker games I'm invited to turn out to be elaborate death traps. You worry too much, Brock. Max and I have been coming here for years without even a hint of a death trap. Unless you count the killer mini tacos. Hello. I don't know. This whole place just feels weird. Weird is in the eye of the beholder. Would you like me to reprogram your optic nerves to be less paranoid? You see what I'm talking about? That there is grade A weird. That's just weird. Are you sure about that? Sam takes the pot. Uh, just so you know, I was bluffing my butt off in that hand. I like the cut of these cards, Jib. I'm in. I didn't realize cards had jibs. Or that you could cut them. Oh, jeez. Owen. Oh, fuzz nuggets. Fold. Player has a pair of fives. Brock Samson has two pair. Mr. Samson wins the pot. Nice. You know, Brock, you remind me of someone. Well, I get that a lot. People say I talk like some guy they saw on television. No, it's not that. Sal! Sal. Sal the giant talking cockroach. Hell of a guy, Sal. You would have liked him. Oh, he's dead? He gave his life to save the city from my partner's superego. Superego. Right. No, really. Max's superego had a colossal hissy fit and turned Max into some sort of rampaging elder god. And our friend Sybil was 13 months pregnant and Stinky and Sal were making out and... Wow, it really does sound crazy when I say it out loud. I still believe you, Sam. I go. Check. Checko. Not exactly projecting a lot of strength there, kid. Uh. All in. Great day in the morning. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't.
don't be scared by the chips. All in. Woo, nice. A pussy says what? <clears throat> Mr. Samson has two pair. Sam has two pair. Brock wins with the higher pairs. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. I'm in. I got a question. Is it a riddle? I hate riddles. And clowns. Are you some sort of super-evolved dog that walks and talks like a man, or a freakishly disfigured man that looks like a dog? Um, I don't really know. Max, what am I? Well, duh, you're a doof, Sam! The judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Rock steals the plot. Fear's a bitch, isn't it? The blinds have been increased to 800 and 1600. Uh... All the heck in. Big mistake, Junior. Come on! Rock Samson has a pair of nines. Sam has three of a kind. Sam wins. You didn't stand a chance once I decided to win. Yes. The player has two pair. Sam has three of a kind. Sam wins the hand. Winning streaks are like dating a beautiful woman. Enjoy them while you can, because it's only a matter of time before they dump you for being weird and clingy. Sure, why not? What's so funny? I just realized that you're a dog playing po <laughs> playing poker. I don't get it. Interesting. No, wait. What's the opposite of that? Call. Call. I'll 
check. I'm almost impressed. It's gotta be bluffing, right? Ugh. Nope. The player takes the pot. Fold. Ah. Ah, damn it, all in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Go ahead and call. I dare ya. Mr. Samson has a pair of aces, and our silent friend has a pair of aces. We have a tie, and the pot is split. So would it have killed you to fold? I call. You play a lot of poker, Brock? Look, I know my way around the table. Of course, the stakes I play for are usually, uh, juicier. Oh, jeez. Owen. Great day in the morning. I fold. Uh. Rock steals the pot. I could do this all night. At the turn, the blinds will now be 1,000 and 2,000. Bing. Anyway, juicier? Like Mookie Wilson rookie cards juicier? Well, juicier, like launch codes, pinky fingers, sexual favors, that kind of thing. I guess it's a good thing the stakes are so low tonight. The way your luck's been running, you'd be out of fingers by now. The night's still young. Chowder. I mean, check. Where did that come from? I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Ugh, mouth checks. Uh, uh, all in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. I fold. Ah! <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> nice. Come on, come on, baby. Ha! The player has a pair of twos. Brock has two pair. Brock wins. Get ready for your vacation, boys, because here comes the Samsonite. I think I'll call. Hmm. I'll raise that. Oh, Sam. Think of all the ham dingers we could buy with that. I'm thinking. Call. takes the pot. It's a good thing you all dropped out. I had a royal butterfly. Now uh, that, uh, that's not a real hand. Not yet. Mm. 
I got a question. Is it a riddle? I hate riddles. And clowns. Are you some sort of super evolved dog that walks and talks like a man, or a freakishly disfigured man that looks like a dog? Um, uh, I don't really know. Max, what am I? Well, duh, you're a doof, Sam! Checo Rema. My sensors have detected a tear in your left tricep from pushing all those chips. In the future, I recommend lifting from the nose. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. I fall. The player takes the pot. I call. I call. I'll check. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I don't know. Flop's not a strong enough word for what just happened here. Fold. The player takes the pot. Nope. Ah. I'm all in. Great day in the morning. Brock steals the blinds. Oh, you guys are way too easy. Increase the blinds to 1200 and 2400. You haven't left over any hole cards for several hands now. Are the cards getting too heavy to lift? I feel lucky. What about you, Punk? Check. Sure. I'm all fucking in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. I'm full. Are you sure about that? Rock steals the pot. Let's see if we can keep this gravy train rolling. You play a lot of poker, Brock? Look, I know my way around the table. Of course, the stakes I play for are usually... Uh, juicy. All in! Big mistake, Junior. All right, let's go big. Great day in the morning. Oh, yeah. Rock Samson has a flush. Sam has a pair of twos. Mr. Samson wins the pot. I'll just take those. Sam has been eliminated. You've won this time, Lady Luck. But I'll be back. And like a rat in a maze, I'll be smarter, faster, and hungry for cheese. You're about to enter a world of pain, kid. Hmm. You probably think that was a big bet. You're wrong. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. I'll check. 
You might want to pace yourself there. Ah, oh, damn it, Alan. Oh, not smart. Are you freaking kidding me? Come on, come on, baby. Son of a bitch! Brock has a pair of twos, and the player has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. Congratulations on winning my Character of the Year trophy, with all the attendant privileges and responsibilities accorded therein. I hope you like mall openings! Before we begin in earnest, allow me to reset the Bounty Challenge Randomizer. If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. I'll cough. I'm in. Call. Check. 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 I like my poker with a little betting. Calling. I'll fold. I call. A phone. How fascinating. I'll check that. Checko. If this hand were any more exciting, I'd fall into a coma. I'm gonna check. Check. Sure, whether this hand's getting interesting or stupid. Check. Mr. Funny Chips has ace high. Sam has a pair of nines. Mr. Samson has a pair of fives. Sam wins. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge. Of his seat. You know, most of the poker games I'm invited to turn out to be elaborate death traps. You worry too much, Brock. Max and I have been coming here for years without even a hint of a death trap. Unless you count the killer mini tacos. Hey I don't know, this whole place just feels weird. Weird is in the eye of the beholder. Would you like me to reprogram your optic nerves to be less paranoid? All in. Woo, nice. Well, this was a big mistake. And not one of the we'll all laugh about it later kinds, either. Ah, fuck you. Whoa. Man. Never bring a knife to a chainsaw fight, kids.
Ah, oh, jeez. The player has two pair, and Mr. Williams has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. I knew I shouldn't have trusted that gypsy charm. So anyway, see what I'm talking about? That there is grade A weird. That's just weird. Check. Check. Check, please. I'll uh, bet. Folding? But you could have lost so much money. I'm out. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. I haven't seen so many weak need checks since Max won the Eastern Bloc Karaoke Finals. Alles klar, der Kommissar? I'll bet. You're not getting out of here that jauntily. All in. Big mistake, Junior. All in. Claptrap has a full house. Sam has three of a kind. Claptrap wins the hand. That was like taking candy from a baby. Which on Pandora is really hard, because they're all armed to the teeth that they don't have yet. So on Pandora, you can get guns and vending machines? Guns, ammo, medkits, you name it, we vend it. What about candy bars? Candy bars? What kind of monster would sell candy bars at vending machines where innocent kids could get their hands on them? But here on Earth... Yeah, here on Earth, you've got an obesity epidemic, people. But on Pandora, our children are healthy, lean fighting machines. So suck it! That was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Mr. Trap has a full house, and you have a full house. The player wins with the bigger house. Cool hand, Skywalker! What the? Max? Yes? Just shoot me now, okay? Just take your gun and shoot me in the freaking head! Please don't shoot him. I find his pain somewhat comforting. Claptrap has run out of chips and will be removed from the table by his best friend. Steve? Hello. Go ahead, old friend. <laughs> do what you gotta do. Hello. Oh, geez, if you're gonna make it this easy, I'll check too. I'll check. I'll bet. Fold. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Rock steals the pot. 
Uh, for the record, that was a bluff. These lines are too low for players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. I followed. Raise. You know, Brock, you remind me of someone. Well, I get that a lot. People say I talk like some guy they saw on television. No, it's not that. Sal! Sal. Sal the giant talking cockroach. Hell of a guy, Sal. You would have liked him. Uh, is that? He gave his life to save the city from my partner's superego. Superego. Right. No, really. Max's superego had a colossal hissy fit and turned Max into some sort of rampaging elder god. And our friend Sybil was 13 months pregnant and Stinky and Sal were making out and... Wow, it really does sound crazy when I say it out loud. I still believe you, Sam. Check, check, check. Such a boring word. I'm not sure whether this hand's getting interesting or stupid. Check. I'm all fucking in. Great day in the morning! I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Rock Samson has three of a kind, and our silent friend has two pair. Brock wins the hand. Am I on a roll, or do you guys really suck at this? Call. Hmm. All right. Time to separate the cottons from the lacy unmentionables. Big mistake, Junior. I don't know. I, I call. Rats. Brock has three of a kind. Sam has two pair. Brock wins. No shame in losing to a superior opponent, Spanky. Sam has been eliminated. Well, it was only money. At least we've still got each other, right, Max? Max? So it's just us now, huh? Oh, I'll try to make this as painless as possible. Sure, why not? Clear the brain, Samson. Let's bet. Pretty ballsy move for a gelding. I'll bet. Oh, that's smart. Check. The player has a pair of sevens. Mr. Samson has Queen High. The player wins. Mm. 
I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. Ah, uh, welcome to the party, kid. Call. Cool. Brock Samson has King High. The player has a pair of kings. The player wins the hand. Hmm. All in. Well, if I were you, I'd probably be peeing in my pants about now. player has a pair of fives. Mr. Samson has queen high. The player wins. The player has completed their special mission to win a Borderlands themed tournament, earning a great deal of... Yeah, what's the word? Ah, yes. Experience points. Keeping your seat warm while you've been away. I assume that everyone has brought the requisite $20,000 buy-in for tonight's tournament. Didn't the buy-in used to be $10,000? It was, but the owner theorized that upping the stakes would bring in a better class of competitors. Okay, that explains how you snagged a bunch of multimedia megastars like yours truly. But what about Captain Lamo over there? It's only a theory. Raise. I fall. Call. Call. <laughs> What's that? Well, that was a waste of chips. Nah. -uh. I'm gonna bet. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. I'm all in. Great day in the morning. Go ahead and call. I dare ya. <coughs> Woo! Whoa, fuzz nuggets. Nice. Brock has two pair, and you have a straight. The player wins the hand. You know what they say, 
Lucky in cards, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Brock Samson has been eliminated. So, you're a dog. For certain values of dog, yeah. And you, Flapsnap. Clap Trap! You're some kind of robot? I'm also a ninja! And our host is a pirate. I'm more of a retard raconteur these days. And none of you are weirded out by this? Nope. Hey, I get weirder things in my sandwiches. Okay, then. Nothing like a good drink with close friends. Maybe later we'll go home and try both. I'll check that. Check. Okay, then. Nah. The player takes the pot. Oh, great! More sucky hole cards! Nah. -uh. I didn't really look at my cards, but I'm calling anyway. Check. Check. I'll check. The player has a pair of twos. Sam has a pair of twos. We have a tie, and the pot is split. I've got a bad feeling about this. Nope. That's a check. Check, please. All these checks better be going somewhere. Gang up on me, huh? Race. I'm out. Check. The player has two pair, and Ash has two pair. We have a tie, and the pot is split. trading in that primitive boomstick for one of the Torg boomsticks for sale over there. I think I'll stick with my classic S-Smart model, thanks. But the Torg brand boomstick can shoot six rockets at once. It does anywhere from 310 to 1,258 points of damage. It can be fitted with elemental accessories, and... Can it do this? Not 
without shooting your knees off. Then I'll pass. You know, I could bluff the pants off you guys with these craptacular cards, but then I'd be staring at your shriveled little dangly parts. Ew. So I fold. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. That was easy. Too easy. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. Guess what? I'm folding. Again. Call. Check. I'll check. I'll check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Call. I call. Check. Check. I call. Call? I'll check that. Check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Yeah, I'm in. I'll call. The player has a pair of queens. Ash has ace high. Sam has king high. The player wins. So on Pandora, you can get guns and vending machines? Guns, ammo, medkits, you name it, we vend it. What about candy bars? Candy bars? What kind of monster would sell candy bars and vending machines where innocent kids could get their hands on them? But here on Earth... Yeah, here on Earth, you've got an obesity epidemic, people. But on Pandora, our children are healthy, lean fighting machines. So suck it! Think, think, think. Let's get this party lubricated! Just remember, it's only a game. Fold. Really? Claptrap steals the pot. Am I really that scary? And this is me folding. Again. I like these cards. Not like-like. That'd be weird. Hmm, carry the three. I raise. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. All in. Whoa. The little robot has two pair, Sam has two pair, we have a tie, and the pot is split. That was more anticlimactic than my sex tape! <laughs> I'm sorry. I seem to have accidentally accessed the laugh track from a 1970s situation comedy. I don't know how that happened. I hate to be that guy, 
But your chainsaw's leaking on my pants. Sorry about that, Marmaduke. I just like to be prepared. For what? An attack of the Triffids? <laughs> triffids, Deadites, Vampires, Nightmare Demons. Or maybe just your everyday killer robot. Chainsaws. Like those would work. Okay, I'll bet. How fascinating. I fall! Ash grabs the pot. Don't kick yourself, I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. Yeah, I'll call. Checko. <laughs> Check. Checko Rema. Checking. <laughs> okay, I'll bet. I call. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Sure! Gang up on the little guy! Race! Hmm, I don't know. Call. Just remember, it's only a game. In for a penny, in for a kilogram. <laughs> I'm... all in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. I'm all in! Ah, hell. Claptrap has three of a kind. Ashley has two pair. Sam has ace high. On the side part, Claptrap wins the pot. And on the main part, Claptrap wins. It was secretly a ruse all along! I do know what I'm doing! <laughs> Mr. Williams has been eliminated. Sorry I couldn't have given you a better game. Next time I'll try not to leave my brain out in the Oldsmobile. Sam has been eliminated. You crack me up, little buddy. It's time to raise the blinds to 800 and 1600. You and me in a big pile of chips! Just like the robot gods intended! This tournament is giving me an overwhelming sense of deja vu. Oh, now I remember. It's just like that time my lab rats fought over a piece of cheese. The funny thing is the rats didn't really need to eat the cheese. They were just conditioned to want the cheese by weeks of electrical stimulation. In the end they killed each other, and the cheese was eaten by one of the human test subjects. He died too, because the cheese was moldy. Claptrap steals the pot. There must be a glitch in the matrix, cause I got deja vu! I've got a bad feeling about this. Claptrap steals the pot. You thought I was bluffing? Sucks to be you! Hmm. Check or bet? Check. Bet. Check. Bet. 
raise. Ooh, this is not going to end well. I bet. Mr. Funny Chips has a straight, and the player has a flush. The player wins the hand. Well done. Now we'll see how you do when I'm not stacking the deck in your favor. Mr. Trap has two pair, and you have two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. What's this emotion I'm feeling? It's like I wish I had those cards, but I also hate you for having them. That's envy, you emotionally stunted rhomboids. And now I'm learning arousal. Well, of course you won with those cards. Even Steve could have won with those cards. And all he can say is, hey-o! Oh. Shut the f*** up, Steve! People say I'm annoying. The player has completed their special mission to win a Borderlands-themed tournament, earning a great deal of... Uh, what's the word? Ah, yes. Experience points. Another tournament? Excellent. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Great Gallifrey, Max. It looks like our past is spilling out all over the inventory. That's right, Seb. Thanks to Rule 137C. The inventory is legally obligated to celebrate 25 years of Sam and Max shenanigans in grandiose style. Yeah, I have no idea what all those words mean. Oh. Call. Oh. Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy hand. Three. Betting. Think, think, think. I call. Cripes, this is more complicated than that double date with the Siamese triplets. I'll raise. Interesting fold. Heh, let's go all in. Impressive. Looks like I'm all in. I guess I'll call.
Looks like old Clappy's just bought himself a big old sack of pain. That's the stuff. The little robot has a pair of tens. Ash has a straight. Sam has a pair of kings. Mr. Williams wins the pot. Boom. Claptrap is eliminated due to lack of funds. Wet Willy! Wet Willy! Hey! That's not my ear! It's my ear! <laughs> <laughs> Sam has been eliminated. What in the name of Walt Whitman's six-cylinder riding lawnmower just happened there? You lost. Would you like me to run a holographic replay? No thanks. Max? Yes? Take me someplace funny. Like the zoo. Sure, Sam. You know my favorite drink? 14th century mold wine. Had a bottle of it when I was marooned in the past. It was like booze of the freaking gods. Can't find anything like it today. That's likely because 14th century mold wine undoubtedly contained a light dusting of mouse droppings. It wasn't a particularly hygienic century. Yeah, well, maybe we'd all be a bit better off if we drank a little more mouse poop. Shuck. You might want to pace yourself there. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Check. Well... <laughs> Bet. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Oh. Yeah, I'll bet. The player has to pair. And Mr. Williams has a pair of kings. The player wins. You can't win if you don't play. And check. I'll check. Hold on. Bet. Well, I probably wouldn't have done that. But I'm not you. Uh-uh. Check. Checks make me... Twitchy. I'll check. Mr. Williams has ace high. The player has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. Let's raise. Yeah, I'll call. So, Samson, you work for that Doc Venture egghead, right? Well, it's a little more complicated than that, but, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Yeah. So why isn't he at the table tonight? You know, with his massive brain and all. I'm a little curious about that, too. Although our invitation was extended to Venture Industries in general, we assumed that Dr. Venture himself would be accepting. Well, a big part of my job is screening Doc Venture's mail for dangerous items. Anthrax, bombs, financial scams, that sort of thing. 
You thought this was a scam? Well, not really. I just know better than to let Rusty anywhere near a poker table. What, he can't bluff? Are you kidding? Doc lies like a rug, but he's just not so good with numbers and probability, stuff like that. Just like Einstein. Sure, sure, let's go with that. One of you jerkwads is bluffing. Oh, jeez. Owen. Whoa, a guy can pay off a lot of bill collectors with a stake like that. Time for a strategic withdrawal. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Oh! <sighs> Didn't even get to the river. The player has a full house. Mr. Samson has a pair of kings. The player wins. Congratulations. You've converted a nearly unbeatable hand into a victory. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Oh, son of a bitch. You guys are smarter than you look. Whoa, those other jokers have a hot date or something? Yeah, I'm in. Hmm. Okay, I'll bet. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking, and it's making my brain hurt. <laughs> Best. Okay, then. All right. Who wants some? Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Crap! Damn. Ash has two pair, and our silent friend has three of a kind. The player wins the hand. Well, yeah, anyone could win with those cards. The winner of tonight's Sam and Mech's 25th Anniversary Tournament is none other than the player! My hero! Knock it off, Max. You don't even like, uh, whatever gender that is. Call me. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. And now for your bounty challenge opportunity. Mr. Williams, your turn to put something extra on the table. Your funeral, guys. Is that the Necronomicon Ex Mortis? The cursed book of the dead, wrapped in the flesh of a demon whose words bring death and destruction to all who read them? No, it's a cookbook. Of course it's the Necronomicon. Now, let's play. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Are you ready to lose? You should be. Well, 
Not this time. Hmm. Raise. Nope. Nope. Claptrap steals the blinds. That's right! You better run! I call. This is gonna get ugly, isn't it? I fall. Kinda thought you were gonna be a girl. I'm getting a lot of that lately. That's no, probably the name, Ashley. It used to be a boy's name, but that was way back in the 40s. Guy went the wind and all that. It's still a guy's name. Well, technically, sure, yeah, but now that the girls have gotten a toehold on it, dads don't want to slap a feminine name on their sons. Same thing happened to Leslie and Shannon and Vivian. Vivian? Oh, yeah. Hank really dodged a bullet on that one. Vivian Venture. Oh. A drink? Well, I don't usually indulge. But I don't usually blow Max's college money on games of chance, either. Thanks. Spicy. Well... All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Big what mistake. Ah, Great day in the morning. The player has to pair. And Ash has to pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. Think, think, think. I'll fold. Max would love these last few hands. But then again, Max also loves poking himself in the eye with a stick. Hey, Sam! I think I've hit brain! I call. That's a check! Hey, Brock. I got in touch with some fellow card enthusiasts. By which he means dweeze. And I think I've found enough stray alien invasion cards to cobble together a full set. Should I even ask how much this is gonna cost? Well, let's just say you really want to keep winning tonight. And maybe the next couple nights, too. Right. One more thing. I think you guys are wrong about card 256. I don't think that's possible. Well, even the checklist card only lists 255 cards, Brock. Yeah, but check it out. I asked Dean about card 256, and he told me it was a secret, ultra-rare card, never intended to be released to the public. Did it have a title? Like, Eating a Kitten, or Flaming Livestock? Yeah. The Wrath of Uranus. Oh, come on! The Wrath of Uranus? Isn't anyone gonna make a joke here? I'm gonna bet. Yeah, I'll bet. Brock has a pair of fives, and the player has a pair of fives. The player wins with an ace kicker. I fold. I'll stay in, cause I'm crazy. Call. Check. 
although usually a sign of a weak hand, a check can also be used to disguise a stronger hand. In your case, I'll assume it's a sign of confusion. <sighs> I'm all fucking in. Great day in the morning! Yeah, I can see where this is going. Ciao! Folding? But you could have lost so much money. Looks like this sucker could go either way. I had a girlfriend like that once. Come on, come on, baby. You freaking kidding me? Mr. Williams has a pair of twos. Rock Samson has a pair of twos. Ash wins with the jack kicker. Come to daddy. Call. From coast to coast, they track their bemanged prey. All in. Who the what now? <sighs> If I was the kind of guy who used words like jinxed, this is the kind of moment I'd use it. But since you're not that kind of guy, what word are you gonna use? Bone? Yeah. The player has Queen High, and Mr. Williams has a flush. I don't think I would have had the stones to stick with that hand. Ash wins the hand. Ha! Nothing can stop me now. These lines are too low for players of your RP skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. Anyway, from coast to coast, they track their bemanged prey. A pile of foes they leave in their wake. Woe to fools who dare to get in their way. If they had known you were coming, they probably wouldn't have baked you a cake. And so begins our gruesome tale. Do not pass go, go directly to jail. The Bigfoot wait. In his stinky abode When Sam and Max make some tracks When Sam and Max Hit the road Okay, that was weird Yet strangely nostalgic Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I'll check that. Yeah, I'll bet. I call. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Jen! I mean, call! Hearts! Pinochle! And I'm out. Ah, what the hell. <laughs> Guess I'll call. Ah, I've come back from worse.
crap. Ashley has a pair of fives. Sam has a pair of queens. Sam takes the pot. Well, the next time you play, you might want to have better cards. Ashley Williams is eliminated. Looking for something? <laughs> Check it out, Sam! I'm a tree surgeon! He's not really a tree surgeon. Open wide and say, ah! Call. I think I'll call. Oh, fuzz nuggets. What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you over the sound of my card sucking. Nope. Brock steals the blinds. Oh, you guys are way too easy. Fine. I have what? Fingers. Well, you got five of them. I only have four. Yeah, I've been trying not to stare. What's it like having five? Oh, it, uh, it is what it is. The pinky comes in really handy when you're choking someone out. Oh, well, Max it like that. So, uh, what's it like with four? Can't complain. Between the fingers and toes, I'm practically built for the computer age. Yeah, how so? We're hexadecimal, baby! I guess you could say for us, the computer age has been a regular digital revolution. Yeah! Don't do that. Sorry! You can't spell fold without fold. I'll check. Check? Mr. Trap has ace high. Mr. Samson has a pair of fives. Brock wins the hand. And it looks like Lady Luck settled in for a long night at the Casa de Brock. Ah, go. I ought to stay out of this hand, but there seems to be something wrong with my probability crunchers. So please, 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 don't take advantage of me while I'm incapacitated, okay? I'll check. I could bet... I'm going all in. Big mistake, Junior. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. I'm thinking. Raise. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. I think one of you has taken leave of his senses. More so than usual, I mean. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Oh. All in. Woo, nice. Ooh, impressive. Ooh, this is gonna be close. I hope I win. Belgium. Mr. Funny Chips has a flush. The player has a flush. Sam has two pair. On the side pot, the player wins with a high flush. I don't think even Harry Molman would have messed up that hand. And on the main pot, Claptrap wins the hand. Sam has been eliminated. Hmm. Maybe next time I should read up on poker strategies instead of reading funny lists on the internet. Hey, Sam, check it out! Six pivotal moments in history that depended on lunch meats. Curse you, Max.
What? Do I have a bugger on my nose? I'm just trying to figure out where your gas cap is. Gas cap? Good sir, I am offended. All claptrap units run on an advanced form of fusion. One that is both carbon neutral and remarkably affordable to the average consumer. If you're running on fusion, then why am I smelling diesel fumes? Oh, that! That's my aftershave! Nothing drives the lady robots crazy like a few dabs of burning hydrocarbons behind the audio sensors! Oh, yeah! It's true. It's driving me insane. Just like Lizzie Borden. Ooh, impressive! What would Bonham do? This is gonna hurt you more than it does me, but that's kinda true about most things. Awful! Wow! A check! I'll alert the media! Ah, oh, damn it, Alan. Really? Wow, I really thought you'd fold there. Nice. Oh, yeah. The player has a pair of sixes. Brock Samson has two pair. Brock wins. I'll just take those. I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. I go. I'm gonna check. What's bad? Uh, all in. Damn. A pussy says what? Ha ha ha. Uh-uh. Claptrap steals the pot. Thanks for the free money, everybody! Did it involve Charles Manson, Rita Marino, and a duck? No, but... And it wasn't the weirdest dream. Check. Seriously. That's the way you're gonna play. I'm out. So, does anyone have any fives? I... Raise. Check. Uh. I'll raise that. Check a Rudy. Claptrap has two pair, and you have a full house. The player wins. Well done. Now we'll see how you do when I'm not stacking the deck in your favor. Congratulations, you didn't screw the pooch. The robot from Pandora is out of chips. Well, that was a big ball of suck. I'm off to play a few million hands of video poker. See ya! I gotta say, I'm kind of surprised. I thought it'd come down to me and Chainsaw Boy, or even the dog. Ah. Chuck. 
Steals the pot. Cool. So, uh, what's your story? The player is here by special invitation of the owner. Special invitation? You must have some powerful connections to pull that off. Actually, the player has no connections at all. Curious that. Welcome to the party, kid. Call. <laughs> Seriously, that's the way you're gonna play. Pretty ballsy move for a gelding. Oh! The player has a full house. Brock has two pair. The player wins the hand. Congratulations. You've converted a nearly unbeatable hand into a victory. <laughs> Lucky bastard. It's about time! I've been trying to get rid of that damn book for years! your seat, we can get started. I see the bounty challengers need resetting. If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. Hey, where'd my money go? To a pleasant upstate farm where it has room to play with all its currency friends. Ah, nah. Ah. Okay, raise. I fall. Trying to read my face for tells, huh? Well, good luck with that. I've taken so many blows to the head that the muscles in my face twitch for no damn reason at all. See? Try not to freak out, I'm just tossing out a few of my extra chips. Ash grabs the pot. I was probably bluffing that time, but thanks for playing along. Deck's gone colder than Max's beady little shark eyes. Haven't seen a run this ugly since Dean tried out for the track team. Meh. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Someone get a hose, cause I'm on fire, baby. Yeah, I'm in. 
call. What's it like living in black and white? Well, that's actually an old wives' tale, like the one about representative democracy. Dogs can see in color. It just looks like this. Whoa! I am totally tripping balls right now. We can also see fear and smell sarcasm. Ew! Impressive! <laughs> hey, it works! Check. Well... I bet. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. I raise. Just remember, it's only a game. I fall. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. He's gotta be bluffing, right? Crap! All in! Whoa! All in. Who the what now? Ooh, Great day in the really morning! Aggressive. What the hell? Mr. Funny Chips has a pair of fours. Ash has a pair of fives. The player has two pair. On the side part, Ash wins. And on the main part, the player wins. Claptrap has been eliminated. Darn it! I forgot to turn on my poker supper team! Can I get a do-over? Your question is activating my rarely used giggle center. Tee hee. Sure, why not? Well, looks like we're gonna need a bigger pot. Fold. Fold. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Poker ain't a game for cowards. Now these cards are making me tingly. Call. Sometimes I wish I had a giant mandible like you guys. Hey, who gave you permission to look at my mandible? He's talking about our chins, dumbass. Oh, I, kn I knew that. You two have such manly dame swooning jawbones. Well, I'm stuck with this petite little thing. It's not the size of your chin, Sam. It's what you do with it that counts. Check. Check. Hold on. Okay, I'll bet. Nope. Smart move. Not this time. Ash grabs the pot. I was probably bluffing that time, but thanks for playing along. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. I call. I call. Check. Checks make me... Twitchy. Check. Check. How about you and the Lagomorph have hit the big 2-5? Any thoughts of retiring? We retire the DeSoto every three or four months. Traveling to alternate dimensions is murder on the treads. Murder, I said! No, retire. You know, when you get too old to do your job, so you just sit around all day collecting social security and telling punks to get off your lawn? 
Wait, that's a thing we can do? Max, look into this not working scheme, pronto! On it! Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Have some cheese, rat. Yeah. The judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Brock steals the pot. Yeah, that was probably the right call. I want to see what happens when these cards get together with their royal buddies. Right. I call. I call. Check. Bet. Fold. Yeah, that was probably the right move. Hey, Sam. You're technically a cop, right? He's a maniac cop! Yeah, we're cops. Ash grabs the pot. That was a little too easy. So, like I was saying, isn't it kind of your job to shut down illegal gambling joints? Well, the inventory's a little out of our jurisdiction. And you know the old saying, Whatever happens in the omnidimensional accretion nexus, stays in the omnidimensional accretion nexus. You can't win if you don't play. Ed. Let's raise. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <laughs> Shh, I'm thinking. These cards smell worse than that unspeakable thing Max brought home that one time. Good for you. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. Nah. I'll check that. Ah, welcome to the party, kid. Oh no! How am I gonna call a big bad bet like that? Oh, I know! With these. I'll check. Oh yeah, I definitely made the right decision. Nah. The player takes the pot. Could one of you guys drop out? Crowds make me nervous. Call. Not that I've been staring uncomfortably at your rock-hard abs or anything, but you guys seem pretty fit. You're going anywhere with this. How do you keep off the weight? Mostly by running and screaming. <laughs> Swinging around a chainsaw is also great for the lats. Well, I... I'm more of an isometrics kind of guy. Twisting necks until they splinter takes a great load of dynamic tension. I do that kind of stuff all the time. But my belly's still as jiggly and off-putting as a Three's Company reunion special. It could be your diet. An analysis of your saliva indicates that your internal organs are almost entirely comprised of cellophane-wrapped meat byproducts, mass-produced sponge-like desserts, and an impenetrable substance known only as fudgy freezes. Wait a minute. Those things are bad for me? Initially, yes. Now the preservatives are the only thing keeping you alive. Of course, they're also responsible for your girth. It's a bit of a catch-22. I love those. Not exactly projecting a lot of strength there, kid. Oh, check. Check. Okay, then. I don't know. I'm all in. Ah, hell. Fold. Oh! <laughs> he 
You freaking kidding me? Mr. Samson has two pair, and our silent friend has a flush. The player wins the hand. You know what they say, lucky in hearts, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Brock Samson is eliminated. Geronimo! Die! 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 I'll be at the bar. I fall. Check. Check. Your boldness is palpable. <laughs> Bet. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Think, think, think. Race. Are you sure about that? Ash grabs the pot. Don't kick yourself, I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. The blinds have been increased to 800 and 1600. Call. Uh... All in. Whoa. Hmm, I don't know. Wild deadites couldn't keep me out of this party. Yeah. Ashley has a pair of tens. Sam has ace high. Mr. Williams wins the pot. Someone get a hose, cause I'm on fire, baby. Sam has been eliminated. I knew I shouldn't have listened to Max. Hey, don't drag my fuzzy little butt into your lame cycle! You're still here? I love these little moments of quiet before the crying starts, don't you? I knew I should have paid more attention in algebra. All right, all in. You should know that a Williams never bluffs. Except when we do. Ash grabs the pot. Whoa. Okay, raise. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Check. Spicy. Duh. The player takes the pot. Mm. 
I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. Check. I'll bet. Ash grabs the pot. It's good to be the king. Pawn. Raise. Nice. I'll check that. Check. Hmm. Nah. The player takes the pot. The blinds are now set at 1,000 and 2,000. Mm. Nice round numbers. Call. I'll bet. grabs the pot. I'm all in. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. The Ash and Wendy Williams Honeymoon Fund thanks you for your continued support. Have we met? That's extremely unlikely. You and the player travel in different circles. Different circles. Ooh, well, Lottie, freaking da. Ash grabs the pot. All right. Try not to take this raise personally. All in. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Damn. Damn. Mr. Williams has ace high, and the player has a pair of fours. The player wins. The winner of tonight's Sam and Max 25th Anniversary Tournament is none other than the player! My hero! Knock it off, Max. You don't even like, uh, whatever gender that is. Call me.
the buy-in, please. I think I'll call. Uh. I'll raise that. There's only one way to respond to whole cards like these. Steve! Hello. So yeah, that's a foe. Nope. Fold. Hmm. Ah, oh, damn it, all in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Great day really? in the morning. Whoa. Big mistake, Junior. Come on, come on, baby. Son of a bitch! The player has a pair of aces. Brock has a pair of kings. The player wins. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go blot this evening out of my head with a bucket of Milwaukee's finest. I call. 25th anniversary, huh? Yep. But on the internet, it says that your first recorded adventure was in 1987. That's 26 years ago. Nerd! Well, we kind of skipped 2004, so it's only been 25 years for us. And I'm out. <laughs> that. Come on, Ash, it's only money. Yeah, I'll bet. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. Ash grabs the pot. That was a little too easy. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to erase the memory of these cards. Where am I? Who are you people? Call. I call. Checo Rema. Ooh, decisive. Check. Checo. Hmm. I wonder if I can sucker you into betting this much. Nope. You can't spell fold without fold. Ash grabs the pot. Another pot for me? You shouldn't have. Hey Ash! You ever think of taking on a sidekick? I'm more of a solo act, Clappy. Oh, come on! I can be the Kato to your Green Hornet, the Biden to your Obama, the Beans to your Pork! You know what I'm talking about, right, Sam? I gotta admit, there's nothing like an obnoxious, violence-prone chatterbox at your side to draw away enemy fire. My head's an inviting target. No dice, kid. I've already got more than enough innocent blood on my hands. But I'm not innocent, and I don't have any blood! Drop it! 11% of all poker moves are checks. That's not an interesting statistic, but neither was your check. Check. Hmm. Okay, I'll bet. 
Call, fold. It's all the same to me. I fold! Ash grabs the pot. Like taking candy from a baby. I haven't seen a streak this ugly since Max accidentally sprinkled horse laxatives into Bosco's Benangatini. I'll raise. You can have it! Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Poker ain't a game for cowards. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. Mm. We've gone several hands without a showdown. Either you've suddenly become better poker players, or I've accidentally introduced serotonin uptake inhibitors into the ventilation system. Kel Surprise! It's another crummy deal! 25 years with the same partner. Impressive. Tell me about it! Most of my relationships are over before the video ends! Excuse me? So, how have you and Max kept it together all this time? You'd be amazed how easy it is to keep your relationship intact when your partner has the long-term memory of a brain-damaged sardine. Hey, Sam! Nice tie! Is it new? You crack me up, little buddy. I'll check. That checks like a watered-down marinara. Weak sauce. I'll check that. The player has Ace High. And Ash has Ace High. We have a tie, and the pot is split. Call. Yeah, I'll call. Call. <laughs> I'll check. Check? Think, think, think. Bet. I fall. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Do, 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 do. You know, if the bets keep going like this, I'll be out of money in about... <laughs> 173 years! Go! Checking! I'll bet. Ah, oh, come on! Nah! Alright. All in. Now, tough call. Wait, did I just lose there? The player has a flush, and Mr. Williams has two pair. The player wins the hand. Nice hand. Almost as nice as this one. Ashley Williams has been eliminated. Damn. If you need me, I'll be over at the bar hoping for a demon apocalypse. Am I eating crazy chips, or did you used to have a different voice? Oh, you mean more like this? Hello! That's it! What happened to it? Criminals used to laugh at me. They said my voice was too goofy. So I got a voice coach, and now when I say freeze dirt bags, the dirt bags really freeze. Okay, so what's his excuse? Uh, Max just fell in love with his Jason Alexander impersonation one day, and it kind of stuck. Considering the alternatives, I kind of dodged a bullet there. And hey, 
What is the deal with antipasta? Does it blow up when it touches regular pasta? I mean, come on! I'll check that. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Well... Calling? Claptrap has a pair of jacks, and the player has a pair of sixes. Well, that was unique. Claptrap wins the pot. Finally! I was starting to think the dealer had an end for me! The only thing I have for you is unbounded apathy. I'll call that. Check. I check. Have you been merchandised yet, Claptrap? Have I been merchandised? Bubba! My image is plastered on so much crap that even I'm getting sick of it. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, feminine hygiene products, and that's not even counting the 43 different action figures. Action figures? Oh, yeah. You want one? Yeah. Well, not for me, of course. It's for my uh, friend, Max. Don't go dragging me into your arrested adolescence. Tell you what. Meet me behind the inventory after the tournament? And I'll set your friend up with a rare mid-condition worm-dancing claptrap. Yes! I mean, I'm sure Max will be very happy. Oh! Call. I'll call. Check a Rudy! Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Not this time. Hmm. Fudge. All in. Go on with your bad self. Oh, no. Oh, no. The player has a straight. Sam has a pair of fives. The player wins. Why can't I get cards like that? Because you're a moron. That's a relief. I was worried you might screw that up. Again. Sam is eliminated. Cheer up, Sam. While you were busy losing our life savings, I've been cornering a gang of time-traveling cradle robbers in the 16th century. I'm not sure I'm in the mood to deal with cranambulating cougars right now, Max. No, 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 no! They rob actual cradles! Binkies, squeaky toys, pacifiers! Well, that's more like it. Let's go, little buddy. Clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Oh, yeah! No way! The little robot has two pair, and you have three of a kind. The player wins the hand. Why can't I get cards like that? Because you're a moron. 
The winner of tonight's Sam and Max 25th Anniversary Tournament is none other than the player! My hero! Knock it off, Max. You don't even like, uh, whatever gender that is. Call me. Ready for more, I see. If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. Gentlemen and claptrap. I'm in. Nah. -uh. I call. Oh, great. Hey, what's this do? Don't touch that, it's Doc Sue Ray. Ooh. This is a bad idea, pirate boy. Bad idea or no? The player's deployment on the Venture Brothers table unlocks legally requires us to decorate the inventory with thematically appropriate props and filigree. Oh, props hell. Some of this stuff is straight out of Doc's lab. Here at the inventory, we pride ourselves on a high degree of... Ow! ...verosimilitude. Check. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Yeah, I think I can afford that. I fall. I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Ugh, mouth checks! If this hand were any more exciting, I'd fall into a coma. <laughs> you might want to pace yourself there. I call. The player has two pair. Brock Samson has ace high. The player wins. Oh, is it my turn? Sorry, I thought I was caught in a loop for a second. On account of my car's blowing chunks again! Let's raise. Call? I call. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. I fold. Ooh, a fold. Sneaky. Ha ha ha. Oh. Something's been bothering me about you. Ash grabs the pot. I was probably bluffing that time, but thanks for playing along. Anyhow, something's been bothering me about you. Is it my raw animal magnetism? Well, yeah, but what I'm really wondering about is your wheel. What about it? I don't have toilet paper stuck on it again, do I? 
No, but you've only got one. How do you stay balanced? Oh my god, you're right! Just kidding. I got more gyroscopes up in here than the Hubble. Check. That's a check. Check. his money are soon parted. Fool me twice, well, well, we won't get fooled again. The player takes the pot. This stack's gone colder than Max's beady little shark eyes. has completed another set of bounty challenges. Sure, why not? I ought to stay out of this hand, but there seems to be something wrong with my probability crunchers. So please, please, please don't take advantage of me while I'm incapacitated, okay? Check. 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 Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Hmm. What's but? Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. I raise. I'll fold. My sensors indicate that you're way too big a loser to call me. I hope you're not trying to get me drunk. Max and I have mastered the secret art of maintaining sobriety. So, slapping each other in the face is an art now? Oh! Uh, didn't expect that, did ya? Oh, come on! Come on, come on, baby. Are you freaking kidding me? Claptrap has two pair. Brock has a pair of sevens. Claptrap wins. That was like taking candy from a baby. Which on Pandora is really hard, because they're all armed to the teeth that they don't have yet. Brock Samson has been eliminated from the table. I hope Rusty worked out the kinks in this thing. Guess not. Call. Hold on. I'm betting you've got Jack and shit under there. And Jack left town. Fold. Go on with your bad self. Damn, G. Look at all that cheddar. I call. Yeah, I'll bet. Those cars were worse than stairs. To understand that joke, check out Borderlands 2. Available now. Catch Borderlands Fever. I'll bet. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Ash grabs the pot. Don't kick yourself. I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. What's it like living in black and white? Well, that's actually an old wives' tale, like the one about representative democracy. Dogs can see in color. It just looks like this. Whoa! I am totally tripping balls right now. 
We can also see fear and smell sarcasm. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> hey, it works. Check. I bet. Hold. I'm full. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Claptrap steals the pot. Well, that was easy. I call. Nope. That's a lot of simoleons. Yeah, I'm in. Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. There is no robot gun! Mr. Trap has a pair of sixes, and our silent friend has. A pair of nines. The player wins the hand. I call. I call. Check. <laughs> Sam! You got another dog question, don't you? Seriously, can you blame me? How often does a guy get a chance to chat up a talking dog? It's it's like interviewing a unicorn. Fine. Three questions. But nothing about my privates or floor scooting. Okay, okay. One, can you eat chocolate? Two, do you date humans or other talking dogs? And three, can you sense earthquakes before they happen? I'm all in. Whoa. Yeah, I'm in. I've come back from worse. Son of a... Mr. Funny Chips has two pair, and Ash has two pair. Claptrap wins with the higher pairs. It was secretly a ruse all along! I do know what I'm doing! <laughs> Anyway, one, yes, but I shouldn't, because it goes straight to my hips. Two, don't tell anyone, but I'm kind of off the market right now. And three, dogs don't detect quakes, but sometimes we cause them. Call. I call. Check. I'll keep this friendly. I'm full. Really? Meh. Ash grabs the pot. That was easy. Too easy. Call! 
I call. I want to see what happens when these cards get together with their royal buddies. Check. That checks like a watered-down marinara. Weak sauce. I'm gonna check. Huh. I'll bet. Just remember, it's only a game. Well, that's one itch I shouldn't have scratched. A judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Nope! Ash grabs the pot. Looks like the old Williams curse is going the way of the dodo. It's time to raise the blinds to 800 and 1600. Am I eating crazy chips, or did you used to have a different voice? Oh, you mean more like this? Hello! That's it! What happened to it? Criminals used to laugh at me. They said my voice was too goofy. So I got a voice code, and now when I say freeze dirtbags, the dirtbags really freeze. Okay, but what's his excuse? Uh, Max just fell in love with his Jason Alexander impersonation one day, and it kind of stuck. Considering the alternatives, I kind of dodged a bullet there. And hey, what is the deal with antipasta? Does it blow up when it touches regular pasta? I mean, come on! Hmm. I'm going all in. Oh, fuzz nuggets. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. I haven't seen a flop that bad since the last time I tried to watch a soccer match. Nice. Hey! A good thing! The little robot has a full house, and the player has four of a kind. The player wins. You know what they say, lucky in cards, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? Here's a fun fact. The laws of robotics render me incapable of killing myself. The robot from Pandora is out of chips. Fortunately, my stake in this tournament has been funded by a generous grant from the fine folks at Gearbox Software. What? What do you mean, unapproved expenses? I'm doing cross-promotional work here. But, but, hello? Hello? When the movie comes out, I'll raise. Call. I'll check. All the heck in. Ah, hell. Hmm, what would Chuck Finley do? All in. Great day in the morning. Who's your daddy? Mr. Williams has two pair. Sam has a pair of fours. Ash wins the hand. Groovy. Sam has been eliminated and will be teleported to a better place. I hope it's Tahiti.
Is it me or does this teleporter make my keister look fat? And then there were two. Ready to give up? I fail to see why the player should give up. Ah, this must be an attempt at intimidation. Very effective. Please continue. Nah, I'm good. I fail to see why the player should give up. Ah, this must be an attempt at intimidation. Very effective. Please continue. Nah, I'm good. The player takes the pot. Check. I'll check. Check. Okay then. Okay, raise. Check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. I think I can dig a few quarters out of the sofa to call that. Ash has two pair, and you have two pair. Ash wins with the higher pairs. Call. Okay, I'll bet. Ash grabs the pot. Looks like the old William's curse is going the way of the dodo. I've taken the liberty of moving the blinds to 1,000 and 2,000. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I should put the two of you in a cryogenic unit, so that I can replay this tournament over and over at my leisure. But that would be wrong. Mr. Williams takes the blinds. Come to Daddy. I raise. I see. I'll fold. The player takes the pot. I'll check that. Check. I'll check that. Well, I'll bet. Yep, that's a tough decision, all right. Ash grabs the pot. Raise. <laughs> Bet. Ash grabs the pot. Another pot for me? You shouldn't have.
I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. Time to bait the trap. I'll bet. I knew I should have paid more attention in algebra. All right. All in. Hmm. Mr. Williams has a pair of fives. The player has a pair of tens. The player wins the hand. In a fascinating game of cat, mouse, and fountain pen, the player has emerged victorious. Oh, wow. Hey, good game there. Who oh, I want to look at the TV does out. I'm not doing that. I'm afraid the owner was most insistent. Oh, son of a... Boy! This never leaves the room, understand? Scouts no, are... a little to the left. Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end of this. Go, Team Venture. Keeping your seat warm while you've been away. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. And now for another bounty challenge. Sam, would you please place your bounty on the table? I hope I know what I'm doing. A banjo? Usually our bounties are more... powerful. Oh, it's powerful, all right. It can eradicate eardrums within a five-mile radius. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Call. Call. Nah. I think I'll call. Checkorama. Oh, geez, if you're gonna make it this easy, I'll check too. Checko. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. I'm gonna bet. Nope. Are you sure about that? Rock steals the pot. Oh, you guys are way too easy. Sound robot head over there. Oh, that that's our humanoid electric lab partner robot, aka helper. Can you repeat that? Look, I barely got through it the first time. Where's his body? Oh, well, Helper got blown up by a supervillain a while back. Fortunately, his head got wedged in my chest, protecting his CPU from the force of the blast. For a while, we put the head on top of a giant robot spider we had lying around in the lab, but that kept freaking out Dean, so now Doc's trying to build him a new body. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you still talking? I, uh, kind of lost track after I imagined a robot head buried in your shirtless torso. Could somebody deactivate my sleep cycle when I get some playable cards? I'm detecting an alarming level of chroniton emissions in the general vicinity. Are any of you time travelers? 
I think I'm from the future. Does that count? I put Edgar Allan Poe in a headlock one time. That was pretty cool. I kind of fell into the 14th century once, but that was totally not my fault. Time travel, time travel. Let me see. Well, Max and I went back to ancient Egypt, visited our teenage selves, quizzed our ancient creaky selves, mind melded with our great grandfathers, accidentally created a pair of temporal clones, fought a trio of time traveling mariachis, and oh yeah, messed around with the beginning of time once or twice. Does that count? Congratulations. You're a universe imperiling paradox in dog's clothing. Commencing chroniton sterilization. Now. Ooh, tingly. Wait, did you say sterilization? Chronotons eliminated. Continuity restored to 78% plausibility. I like those odds. I don't know. I'll raise. Duh. I fall. Brock steals the blinds. Well, it looks like Lady Luck settled in for a long night at the Casa de Brock. I call. Fold. I'll raise that. I am so into these cards! Call. I'll check. Check. I'll check. Check. Think, think, think. I'll bet. Nah. -uh. Claptrap steals the pot. So that's what you humans call bluffing. Seriously, I had nothing. Well, you know, Sam, not many men of action can get away with the skinny hat look. Thanks. I've been trying to bring back hats for years, but I can't even get Max to wear his beret anymore. Ceci n'est pas un chapeau. I tried wearing a cowboy hat back in the 90s. Didn't take. What about you, Brock? I see you in something of a chapoya. Well, I... I can't really wear hats. My hair produces a chemical that causes them to disintegrate after a few hours. Doc says it's a super testosterone. Uh-uh. Calling? Check. Check. I'm gonna fold before this thing tries to eat my face. I'm gonna check. Another drink? My taste buds are tingling. That's your liver's distress <laughs> signal, Sam. Hmm. Check or bet? Check. Bet. Check. Bet. I bet. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on! Call it! It'll be fun! Claptrap steals the pot. Whoa! Looks like I'm stuck in a loop! A sexy winning loop! Not that I'm looking for a career change, but are there any job openings at Venture Industries? Uh, job... Op... Openings... 
Hey, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I've had a lot of experience and... I ain't laughing at you, Williams. I'm laughing at the thought of the doc cracking open his wallet to pay someone. Doesn't he pay you? Well, the Office of Secret Intelligence cuts my checks. Rusty's barely got enough money to keep himself in diet pills and speed suits. I'll bet. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. I'll call that. Fold. Okay, I'll just stuff that into the bad idea file, along with Max's Kickstarter. It would have worked if I knew what a Kickstarter was. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. <laughs> I check. Really? Raise. Hey, GLaDOS, can I re-raise? Yes, although it's generally considered to be... Re-raise! <laughs> Bad form. I call. Mr. Trap has a pair of queens. The player has two pair. Mr. Samson has a pair of fives. The player wins. These blinds are too low for players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. I'm in. Jeez! Whoever dealt this mess should be shipped off to the Hague. Ahem. No offense, Sugar Ram. Oh! Raise. Okay, quick topic. Words to live by. Go! Life is short and sadistic, so make love to it like a one-eyed double agent. Always run in the opposite direction of loud noises. There's always time for more science. Never go anywhere without written instructions. Mine was try not to be a jerk, but I'm really liking that thing about the sadistic midgets. Call. Oh. I'll check. I don't know. I... All in. <coughs> okay, that was a mistake. Fold. Nope. Uh. Rock steals the pot. Yeah, that was probably the right call. Could one of you guys drop out? Crowds make me nervous. You know, Brock, I've been around more than a few mad scientist labs in my time, and I gotta say, this stuff just reeks of failure. Well, yeah, most of Doc's inventions are kinda... half-baked. Why doesn't he just shut it down and do something else with his life? Doc's getting a little long in the tooth for a midlife crisis. Besides, there's a part of him that still thinks he can use the super scientist gig to bang supermodels. Is that even a remote possibility? Not really. But don't tell him, he'll probably try to kill himself. Again. Hmm, carry the three. Heh, let's go all in. Impressive. Who dug it? That's a lot of simoleons. Duh. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. I fall. I'd buy a lot of Bowie knives. 
Oh, jeez. Owen. Ah, hell. Little robot has two pair. Rock Samson has a flush. Mr. Samson wins the pot. Hey, if this keeps up, I may be home in time for Downton. Flat trap has been eliminated. Hey, the teleporter! We got these all over Pandora. Little help here! Are you sure you want my banjo? You strike me more of a mandolin type. So, Samson, you work for that Doc Venture egghead, right? Oh, it's a little more complicated than that, but, uh, I'm his bodyguard. Yeah. So why isn't he at the table tonight? You know, with his massive brain and all. I'm a little curious about that, too. Although our invitation was extended to Venture Industries in general, we assume that Dr. Venture himself would be accepting. Well, a big part of my job is screening Doc Venture's mail for dangerous items. Anthrax, bombs, financial scams, that sort of thing. You thought this was a scam? Well, not really. I just know better than to let Rusty anywhere near a poker table. What, he can't bluff? Are you kidding? Doc lies like a rug, but he's just not so good with numbers and probabilities, stuff like that. Just like Einstein. Sure, sure, let's go with that. Hmm. Ah, go. Chuck. All in. Big mistake, Junior. Yeah. All in. Woo, nice. <laughs> ah, sometimes you gotta laugh, right? Yeah. Cool. Ash has three of a kind. Sam has a pair of sevens. Mr. Williams wins the pot. Now we're talking. I got you know, I think S-Mart sold some Venture Industries products a few years ago. Fudge. All in. Damn. Raise. Nah. Oh, yeah. Brock has a pair of eights. Sam has a pair of eights. We have a tie, and the pot is split. So, uh, like I was saying, the vibrating space bras or the self-cleaning toilet seats? The bras. Oh, sorry. 
Doc was going through a rough patch when he thought of that. Hey, it wasn't your fault. Besides, we sold a truckload of ointment after the recalls. Fudge. All in. Woo! Nice. Hold on a second. This is getting tricky. I'm all in. Whoa. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Nice. Crab cakes. And there goes the double tap. Ah, oh, jeez. Mr. Samson has a pair of tens. The player has a straight. Ashley has two pair. Sam has jack high. On the first side pot, the player wins the hand. Don't get cocky, kid. Laugh it up while you can, fuzzball. On the second side pot, the player wins. Not bad, Spanky. And on the main pot, the player wins the hand. Well, yeah, anyone could win with those cards. Dang, there goes my banjo. Guess I'll have to take up the oboe. Ah, time for more bounty challenges. Tonight's tournaments have a twenty thousand dollar buy in. It's a mathematical certainty that eighty percent of you are going to lose tonight, and one hundred percent of you will eventually die. That is fun, don't you think? I'm in. Call. Yeah, I'm in. I'll call. Big Great mistake. Day the Aggressive. <laughs> yeah, no. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. Nope. Mm, I don't know. This is one rickety bridge I'm not crossing. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I fold. The player steals the blinds. Five. Five what? Fingers. Well, you got five of them. I only have four. Yeah, I've been trying not to stare. What's it like having five? Oh, it, uh, it is what it is. The pinky comes in really handy when you're choking someone out. Oh, Max it like that. So, uh, what's it like with four? Can't complain. Between the fingers and toes, I'm practically built for the computer age. Yeah, how so? We're hexadecimal, baby! 
I guess you could say for us, the computer age has been a regular digital revolution. Yeah! Don't do that. Whoa! Magnus! He's gotta be bluffing, right? All this folding is making me a little pent up. Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. I think I'll stay out of this one. Just remember, it's only a game. Fold. The player steals the blinds. Hmm. Let's raise. I fold. Trying to read my face for tells, huh? Well, good luck with that. I've taken so many blows to the head that the muscles in my face twitch for no damn reason at all. See? Not that I'm looking for a career change, but are there any job openings at Venture Industries? A job openings. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I know I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I've had a lot of experience and... I ain't laughing at you, Williams. I'm laughing at the thought of the doc cracking open his wallet to pay someone. Doesn't he pay you? Well, the Office of Secret Intelligence cuts my checks. Rusty's barely got enough money to keep himself in diet pills and speed suits. Really? Woo. Ah, hell. Nuh-uh. The player takes the pot. <sighs> if I was the kind of guy who used words like jinxed, this is the kind of moment I'd use it. But since you're not that kind of guy, what word are you gonna use? Boned? Raise. Call. Ah, I'm in. That's a check. Come on, Ash. It's only money. <laughs> Bet. Uh, talk about a devil's three-way. I call. It's a good thing I don't have bile ducts, cause that hand would make me vomit! All in. Great day in the morning! Yow, tough call. Not this time. Ah, jeez. Damn. The player has a full house, and Mr. Williams has to pair. The player wins. Laugh it up while you can, fuzzball. Ash Williams has been eliminated from the tournament, and will be taken from the table by Dr. Venture's experimental teleporter. Teleporter? Hey! Where's the rest of me? Check it out, Sam! Free shoes! Calling? I didn't really look at my cards, but I'm calling anyway. Check. You play a lot of poker, Brock? Look, I know my way around the table. Of course, the stakes I play for are usually, uh, juicier. Juicier? Like Mookie Wilson rookie cards juicier? Well, juicier, like 
Launch codes, pinky fingers, sexual favors. That kind of thing. I guess it's a good thing the stakes are so low tonight. The way your luck's been running, you'd be out of fingers by now. The night's still young. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. Claptrap steals the pot. So that's what you humans call bluffing! Cause seriously, I had nothing! You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. I call. I call. Ah. Chuck. Check, check. Such a boring word. Yeah, I'll try. I'll fold. I raise. You folded? I didn't predict that. Now I have to reprogram my AI again. Please turn off all cell phones and recording devices. Hmm. Ah, God. Enough of this romper room garbage! I call. Yes. Son of a bitch! Rock Samson has a pair of fives. Sam has a pair of kings. Sam wins the hand. Come to Papa, little chips. Don't anthropomorphize the money, Max. I mean, Sam. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Wow, I, uh, really didn't see this coming. I did, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Surprise. I can't count that small, so I guess I'll have to raise. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! I'll call that! You're more emotional than most of the robots I've met. CL4P TP general purpose robots are equipped with 8th generation emotive resonators, allowing them to mimic a panoply of human emotions, ranging from sarcastic sympathy to wildly unbridled enthusiasm. So you don't actually feel emotions, you just fake them? There's a difference? Uh, let me get back to you on that. You don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm calling and I don't know why! Read them and weep! Seriously, your tears nourish me! Claptrap has a pair of nines, and our silent friend has a straight. The player wins the hand. What's this emotion I'm feeling? It's like, I wish I had those cards, but I also hate you for having them. That's NB, you emotionally stunted rhomboid. And now 
I'm learning arousal. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Crap Trap out. Looks like it's just you and me. I hope you brought some antibiotics, because this is gonna sting. Hey, Max, what do you think I should do? Ah, uh, lose 30 pounds and move out of your parents' house? About the hand, chucklehead. Oh, check. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, what the heck. I'll just throw in a whole bunch and see what happens. Hey. I thought we were friends. It's playing computer poker by itself, Sam. It doesn't have friends! Fold. The player takes the pot. Check. Let's poke this pot with the pointy sticks of mathematical certainty. I'll check. Checorema. Sam has a pair of sevens, and you have ace high. Sam takes the pot. You remind me of someone. Everyone reminds you of someone, Sam. That's it. You remind me of everyone. And no one. Weird. I... bet? Sam takes the pot. More chips for me? I don't know what to say. Try your booty, Sam. The blinds have been increased to 800 and 1600. What would Max do in a situation like this? Ah, Black Hawk down! Black Hawk down! Okay, plan B. Raise. Sam makes off with the blinds. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. I call. No sense rocking the boat now. Hmm. On the one hand, you're probably trying to string me along. On the other hand, that bet's so small that I just don't give a hoot. Call. Hmm. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. I think I'll call. The player has a pair of kings. Sam has a pair of sevens. The player wins. I'm not just all in. I'm all caps in. Sam makes off with the blinds. Victory is so close now, for one of you. I call.
Bedding. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Hmm. All in. Looks like I've gone belly up, and so is my hand. The player has a flush. Sam has a pair of eights. The player wins the hand. That's a relief. I was worried you might screw that up again. In a fascinating game of cat, mouse, and fountain pen, the player has emerged victorious. Hey, good game there. The owl's little routine us out. I'm not doing that. I'm afraid the owner was most insistent. Oh, son of a... Fine! This never leaves the room, understand? Scouts no, are... a little to the left. Oh, I'm never gonna hear the end. Go Team Venture. Take your seat. We can get started. The buy-in, please. The name of the game is Texas Hold'em. Fold. Darkness table unlocks, obliging the inventory to recreate the early 14th century world of Mr. Williams' comically horrific adventures against the Deadite Menace. I thought it smelled of death and slapstick in here. Really? Uh-uh. I call. I'll check that. Check a Rudy. Hold on. Okay, I'll bet. You should know that a Williams never bluffs, except when we do. so you can hear the crap we say? Blah, 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 blah. Is this hidden dialogue entertaining to you? Blah, 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 Sometimes I wish I had a giant mandible like you guys. Hey, who gave you permission to look at my mandible? He's talking about our chins, dumbass. Oh, I, kn I knew that. You two have such manly dame swooning jawbones, while I'm stuck with this petite little thing. It's not the size of your chin, Sam. It's what you do with it that counts. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. Call. Check, please. 
All in. Off for his nuggets. Nah. Ash grabs the pot. Like taking candy from a baby. I've got a bad feeling about this. Check. 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 Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Well, I've got to respect a guy secure enough in his manhood to make about that tidy. Call. I raise. I fold. Good for you. I'm out. <laughs> Bet. Ooh, this is not going to end well. <laughs> Time to separate the men from the boys, ladies. Mr. Williams has placed the remainder of his chips in the pot. And apparently part of his brain. Hey! Woo! Nice. Damn. Impressive. Great day in the morning. The player has three of a kind. And Ash has three of a kind. We have a tie, and the pot is split. Whatever happened to that nice Sheila lady you rescued from the Deadites back in the 14th century? No idea. I tried to find out once or twice, but ancient history is not exactly my strong suit. Perhaps I can help. Scanning, scanning. Sheila, the very pregnant daughter of Euford, married Sir Theodore in 1300. Pregnant? Hey man, we only did it once. Twice tops. One son, eight grandchildren. Killed by the Black Plague in 1347, along with all but one of her heirs. Ah, damn. Direct descendants emigrate to Poland in the 15th century. Hey, a fellow Paul. Gratuluce! Remaining family escapes Nazis in mid-20th century, eventually settling in a Swedish enclave in Nebraska. Wait a minute. By the 1960s, the sole surviving ancestor of Theodore and Sheila, Bonnie Jablonski, briefly marries a local traveling salesman, giving birth to two male sons, including Brock Fitzgerald Sampson. Ah, son of a bitch. Hey, welcome to the family! I call. Checko. Checks make me twitchy. Check. Bet. Fold. Fold. I'll check. I'm almost impressed. Hands like that could drive a guy to drink. Oh, look! The player takes the pot. I'm more of a solo act, Clappy. Oh, come on! I can be the Kato to your Green Hornet, the Biden to your Obama, the Beans to your Pork. You know what I'm talking about, right, Sam? 
I gotta admit, there's nothing like an obnoxious, violence-prone chatterbox at your side to draw away enemy fire. My head's an inviting target! No dice, kid. I've already got more than enough innocent blood on my hands. But I'm not innocent, and I don't have any blood! Drop it! I'll check. Ooh, decisive! Time to get serious. What, you were being funny before now? And I'm out! Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. I'll raise. Hey, I don't want to seem unfriendly, but I just met you assholes. So why do you seem to know everything about me? What? You don't know? There have been movies, video games, action figures. The director's cut rocks. Max has all your action figures. Even the ultra-rare Naked Ash variant. Yowza! Wait a minute, someone's merchandising me? Why haven't I seen any of this? Maybe you should see a lawyer. Pronto. I'm all in. Who the what now? I'm... all in. Really? That's the stuff. Ash has two pair. Mr. Samson has a pair of aces. Ash wins the hand. All right. Brock Samson has been eliminated from the tournament. And possibly this plane of existence. Keanu Barbera Nimoy! <laughs> I'll get some white out. Normally I wouldn't raise, but you're giving off a high-pitched panicky vibe that only dogs can hear. I'll call that. Ah, I'm in. Ah, hell. A fold. How fascinating. Call in! See what I did there? Nah. Any chance for a redeal? Claptrap has two pair. Sam has three of a kind. Sam takes the pot. Hey, I won! Neat! Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. I'm out? Really? I was just getting started! Trust me, you weren't.
These blinds are turned off the players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. I call. I call. Okay, I'll bet. Really? I'll fold. Sam takes the pot. Hey, I won again. I wonder what that means. It means you're on a roll, baby. Bet everything! I call. Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? Yeah, I'll bet. Yeah. Raise. Okay, then. Call. I'll check. Nothing like the thrill of high-stakes poker. Check. Your boldness is palpable. Check. I think I'll bet. Are you sure about that? Nuh-uh. Sam takes the pot. That was easy. Too easy. How do you get through all your crazy adventures without any shoes? Same way you get through yours without a hat. But I don't need a hat. Exactly. That's not really an answer. Isn't it? No, it's not. And that's why I don't wear shoes. And also because shoes make him look like a big brown clown. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Nope. I'll bet. Check. I'll check. The player has a pair of kings. Sam has a pair of kings. The player wins with the jack kicker. I call. Check. You know, after all this time, I'm still not sure what a deadite really is. Well, it all starts with a demonic book that should never, ever be read out loud. Like Battlefield Earth? No, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Reading it awakens demons that can take over people and all kinds of crap, turning them into deadites. Got it? Not really. Just don't read the book. Will do. I'm not a big reader anyway. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Who dug it? That's a lot of simoleons. All in. Great day in the morning! Nope. Ash grabs the pot. Poker ain't a game for cowards. I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. I hate to be that guy, 
but your chainsaw's leaking on my pants. <laughs> Sorry about that, Marmaduke. I just like to be prepared. For what? An attack of the Triffids? Triffids, Deadites, Vampires, Nightmare Demons, or maybe just your everyday killer robot. Chainsaws. Like those would work. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking, and it's making my brain hurt. Did I remember to put the cat out? Wait, I don't have a cat. All the heck in. Impressive. Okay, then. Asterisks. Asterisks. The player has two pair. Sam has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. What are you staring at, Clifford? The hand. That's one of those spiffy Danish jobbies, isn't it? A flongvar? Buddy, I'll have you know that this beauty was built by Lord Arthur's personal blacksmith back in the 14th century. You know, most people would find that story ludicrous, but that's not even the silliest thing I've heard since lunch. All right, time to separate the cottons from the lacy unmentionables. Ah, hell. Folding? But you could have lost so much money. Nah. Sam takes the pot. I know this little winning streak is just random luck, but... In your face, suckers! <laughs> what he said? At the tone, the blinds will now be 1,000 and 2,000. Anyway, wait till I tell you about the mini ashes. I'll check that. Check. Hey, Max, what do you think I should do? Tell her how you really feel before she runs away with bling. About the hand, chucklehead. Oh, check. <laughs> I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Ugh, mouth checks. Check. Oh, hush. Check. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. Um, I think I'll call. If you're folding because you're too embarrassed to admit that you've forgotten the rules, just nod your head. I promise not to tell anyone. <laughs> Mr. Williams has a pair of fives. Sam has a pair of fives. Sam wins with a queen kicker. You didn't stand a chance once I decided to win. Think. I raise. Say, Sam, is that your tricked out 1960 DeSoto adventurer in the parking lot? It better be. I hate to think we've been driving around in someone else's car for the past 25 years. Why do you ask? I think it growled at me. Yeah, it's done that ever since that adventure we had in H.E. Double Hockey Sticks. Maybe you should see an exorcist. Well, that's what I keep telling Max. But then he just spins his head at me and vomits. And oh, Nathrak! I just had that cleaned! And here I thought we were playing a friendly game of high-stakes poker. It was fun while it lasted. The player takes the pot. Fold. I call. Check. Check.
Hmm. Fold. The player takes the part. I fold. All in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Damn. Cool. Son of a... What the hell? Ashley has a pair of sixes. The player has a pair of aces. The player wins. I'll check. Hmm. All in. Sam takes the pot. You didn't stand a chance once I decided to win. The blinds have been increased to 264 and 4C8 in base 23. I'll give you a minute to work that out before I deal the next hand. What's a dazzling urbanite like yourself doing in a dive like this anyway? You mean besides taking all your money? The player has been invited by the owner to add spice to tonight's game. Well, that probably explains the overwhelming smell of oregano. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Check. I'm back. Sam takes the pot. Is this what good luck feels like? I raise. Sam makes off with the blinds. I call. Okay, I'll bet. All in. <gasps> Sam, no! Think of the children. What children? Um... Sam takes the pot. Well, the next time you play, you might want to have better cards. Sure is exciting, isn't it? Glad you agree. Sam makes off with the blinds. Call. Sam takes the pot. Hey, I won! Neat! Did you hear that? 
That was the sound of a counter incrementing deep within my processing core, informing me that it's time to raise the blinds again. Yeah. I'll adjust its frequency so you can hear it too. I don't know why it sounds like a cow either. Regardless, the blinds are now 1400 and 2800. Uh... Let's raise. Good for you. Most people are bound by the conventions of probability and common sense. But you're special. I fall. The player takes the pot. Oh, great. How am I gonna make small talk with a mute? Hmm. All in. Nice. Player has two pair. Sam has ace high. The player wins the hand. The player has won the tournament, rescuing Arthur's kingdom from the armies of darkness. As a reward for your service, you will be given this potion. Three sips of which will put you into a magical slumber until you reawaken in time for the next tournament. Was that two sips? <laughs> ah, you're awake. They come back. Welcome to the future, kid. I hope you like alien invasions. I told you these phony beards were a bad idea. <laughs> Tonight's tournaments have a twenty thousand dollar buy in. You've completed another set of bounty challenges. I call. I call. Buckle up. It's gonna be a bumpy hand. Check. 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 Checking. Hmm, what would Chuck Finley do? 
bet. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I raise. Smart move. Ugh. Not this time. I call. <laughs> I'll check. Fudge. All in. Big mistake, Junior. Nope. Sam takes the pot. You know, if you keep indulging my transparent dishonesty, I'm gonna have to run for Congress. Kinda cold in here. I found that 15 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature to keep the game moving. In the future, you might want to wear an undershirt. Luckily, I'm already covered in fur. And my tongue's a thermostat. And I have a miniature fusion reactor keeping me warm. Swell. It was worth a shot. A series of painful rabies shots. Are you sure about that? Call. Check. Do, 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 do. I'll bet. Oh, you think I'd be used to sudden betrayals? Claptrap steals the pot. Thanks for the free money, everybody! The one thing always bothered me about that freaky time traveling story of yours, Williams. What's that? The ending. Some people say you made it back to the present and returned to work at the S-Mart like nothing happened. Others say you got marooned in the future and had to fight your way back to the present. So which is it? That's a long, complicated story full of mind-numbing terror and blood-curdling romance. I smell a blockbuster. And if I tell you any more, it would rip apart the fabric of the space-time continuum like a five-dollar nightgown. Aww. Oh. Well... That was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. <laughs> sure, why not? Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! I call. Nuh uh. Ha! Good one. Not this time. Well, that was a waste of chips. Nope. The player takes the pot. Yeah, I'll call. Let's raise. Wow, I uh, really thought you'd fold there. Fold. Fold. I'll fold. I believe it is what the kids are calling dubstep. Oh, Jesus, can't you play some Zeppelin or something? 
You better get used to this sound, Grandpa, because the dub is the only music that survives the great digital event horizon of 2033. Boom! Great, another reason to die young. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I think I'll call. Checkorama. Ooh, impressive. I call. Checko. Okay, then. Fold. The player takes the pot. I like the cut of these cards, Jib. I'm in. I didn't realize cards had jibs. Or that you could cut them. Yeah, I think I'll just keep folding until something better comes along. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. All right. All in. Really? I fall. All in. Damn. Crap! Come on, come on. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Mr. Funny Chips has two pair, and Mr. Williams has two pair. We have a tie, and the pot is split. The blinds are now 600 and 1200. Hey, I don't want to seem unfriendly, but I just met you assholes. So why do you seem to know everything about me? What? You don't know? There's been movies, video games, action figures. The director's cut rocks. Max has all your action figures. Even the ultra-rare Naked Ash variant. Yowza! Wait a minute, someone's merchandising me? Why haven't I seen any of this? Maybe you should see a lawyer. Pronto. One of you jerkwads is bluffing. Call. I fall! I'm... all in. Woo! Nice. Oh, jeez. All in. Who the what now? Really? Son of a bitch! Are you freaking kidding me? Ash has a pair of fours. Rock Samson has a pair of fours. Ash wins. With a nine kicker. Come to daddy. Brock Samson has been eliminated. You know, my mom warned me against playing poker with dogs, robots, cripples, and mutes. Guess I should have listened to her. Yeah, I'm in. Call?
I'll check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. You know, after all this time, I'm still not sure what a Deadite really is. Well, it all starts with a demonic book that should never, ever be read out loud. Like Battlefield Earth? No, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Reading it awakens demons that can take over people and all kinds of crap, turning them into Deadites. Got it? Not really. Just don't read the book! Will do. I'm not a big reader anyway. The judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Hold on. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Uh... I fold. Ash grabs the pot. Ha! Nothing can stop me now. I call. I'll call. I'll check that. Check. Check. There's a fine line between brilliance and stupidity. I'm pretty sure we're all straddling it like a Lithuanian lap dancer. Check. Way to go out on a limb there, Captain Courageous. Call. Call. Call? <laughs> Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. That's right! Claptrap's all up in this pot now, suckers! All in. Up. In. I'm the robot with the chips. Ah, hell. Nah. Just remember, it's only a game. Nope. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Mr. Trap has a straight, and the player has a flush. The player wins. Congratulations. You've converted a nearly unbeatable hand into a victory. Well, yeah, anyone could win with those cards. Flat trap has been eliminated and will be textualized. Textualized? Clap trap babushka nito! Oh come on! That's not even close! <laughs> You know, that book needed more comic relief. So, Sam, why don't you take off your jacket? Two reasons. First of all, I paid a team of highly skilled artisans a metric butt-ton of money for this new suit. So I'm gonna show it off like a trophy wife at a back-to-school night. And the second reason? Underneath this jacket, I'm sweating like a fat guy in a walk-in humidor. Ugh. Thanks for sharing that. Seriously, my pits are so swampy, there are probably manatees swimming around in there. Check it out! Oh. So anyway, I'm keeping it on. Ah, I'm in. Check. Um, all in. Whoa. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Nuh uh. Huh. I'm drawn deader than Zombie Picasso.
The player has two pair. Sam has a pair of nines. The player wins the hand. Sam has been eliminated. Are you sure about that? Because I think Max stole one of my chips. I'm sure. Ugh, gee, Sam, have a little dignity. You ready to try and take down the king, kid? Let's raise. Okay then. Ha. Huh. I'll raise. Spicy. Raise. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking and it's making my brain hurt. All right. All in. Mr. Williams has a pair of twos, and our silent friend has a pair of queens. The player wins. The player has won the tournament, rescuing Arthur's kingdom from the armies of darkness. As a reward for your service, you will be given this potion, three sips of which will put you into a magical slumber until you reawaken in time for the next tournament. Oh, was that two sips? Ah, you're awake. Welcome back. Welcome to the future, kid. I hope you like alien invasions. I told you these phony beards were a bad idea. for another tournament? Excellent. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. And now for your bounty challenge opportunity. Mr. Samson, if you would be so kind. Well, this is a really bad idea. Come, come, Mr. Samson. You know the rules. Ah, the orb, an ancient device handcrafted over the generations by the likes of Archimedes, Galileo, and Da Vinci. Some say it's a source of nigh infinite power, while others claim it holds the secrets of creation itself. Doc says it's a useless hunk of junk, but sure, let's say it's the nigh infinite power thing. To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. Are you ready to lose? You should be. Not this time! Call. I can't even work up the enthusiasm to dismiss these cards with an overwrought simile. Check. Although usually a sign of a weak hand, a check can also be used to disguise a stronger hand. In your case, I'll assume it's a sign of confusion. Hmm. 
Let's bet. Well, that was a bad idea. A judicious poker player knows the importance of a well-timed fold. And then there's you. Rock steals the pot. I could do this all night. Hmm. I'm gonna see that bet, then hide it under a pile of chips so it won't get embarrassed. I fold. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. He's gotta be bluffing, right? I call. Okay, quick topic. Words to live by. Go! Holy hip hop Life and Halifax short with a side of chili fries. So make love to it like a one-eyed double agent. Always run in the opposite direction of loud noises. There's always time for more science. Never go anywhere without written instructions. Mine was try not to be a jerk, but I'm really liking that thing about the sadistic midgets. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking, and it's making my brain hurt. Uh uh. Check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I don't want any part of this death match. Oh. Nope. The player takes the pot. Fold. Yeah, I think I'll just keep folding until something better comes along. I've got a bad feeling about this. Check. 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 I'm gonna check. I'll bet. I'm... all in. Really? Pretty ballsy move for a gelding. The player has two pair. And Ash has a straight. Ash wins. Come to daddy. One thing always bothered me about that freaky time-traveling story of yours, Williams. What's that? The ending. Some people say you made it back to the present and turned to work at the S-Mart like nothing happened. Others say you got marooned in the future and had to fight your way back to the present. So which is it? That's a long, complicated story full of mind-numbing terror and blood-curdling romance. I smell a blockbuster. And if I tell you any more, it would rip apart the fabric of the space-time continuum like a five-dollar nightgown. Aww. Nice to see I'm not the only one who can get goaded into a horrible decision. I'm out. You think I'd shrink away from this kind of action? Well, you're completely right! <laughs> I'll check that. I'll check. Are you sure a bet of that magnitude is wise for someone in your delicate financial bracket? Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. Race. Is that a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. The player has to repair. 
and Mr. Williams has a pair of sixes. The player wins the hand. Ah, go. I am so into these cards. I call. I don't know about you guys, but I love living in the 21st century. Pull-top soup cans, resealable bags of shredded cheese, obese criminals who obligingly wear their pants below their behinds for easy tripping. It's a golden age. And what about the medical stuff? They're making pills that unleash tiny robots into your arteries. How awesome is that? Robots, schmobots. At S-Smart, we've started selling these jackets that dry themselves when they get wet. Oh, you guys are gonna be so bummed when the robot invasion comes. Check. 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 Let's prime the pump. I fall. Not this time. Hmm, carry the three. Call. I check. All right. All in. Great day in the morning. Folding suits you. Do more of it. Oh, no! A bat! Whatever shall I do? Oh, wait. I know. I'll call. The little robot has three of a kind, and Ash has a pair of threes. Claptrap wins the hand. That's what you get when you screw with the clap! There was probably a better way to phrase that. Ash Williams has been eliminated. Clatu! Oh no. Max! It's Clatu Barada Nikto! Got it! Clatu Barada Tiptoe! Crap. You know, I should really get my hearing checked. <laughs> Lines are too low for players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. Calling? What's it like living in black and white? Well, that's actually an old wives' tale, like the one about representative democracy. Dogs can see in color. It just looks like this. Whoa! I am totally tripping balls right now. We can also see fear and smell sarcasm. Ooh, impressive! <laughs> hey, it works! Old. Wow, you're really emotionally invested in this hand, aren't you? Well, here, take it. Sam makes off with the blinds. You know, if you keep indulging my transparent dishonesty, I'm gonna have to run for Congress. This bet, like my beluga casserole, would look much better with a few chips sprinkled on top of it. Call. I call. Check. That's a check. Check. I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Humans write checks with their mouths? Ew! Ah. Check. 
check. Checkorama. You might want to pace yourself there. And buy a lot of Bowie knives. Oh, you think I'd be used to sudden betrayals by now. Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! I'll call that. Nope. <laughs> That's right! Cop traps all up in this pot now, suckers! I believe you were trying to say, all in. Of course, I also used to believe in the inherent goodness of the universe. And look where that got me. Damn. Yeah, that was probably the right move. Claptrap steals the pot. Thanks for the free money, everybody! Trying to figure out where your gas cap is. Gas cap? Good sir! Ah, I am offended! All claptrap units run on an advanced form of fusion. One that is both carbon neutral and remarkably affordable to the average consumer. If you're running on fusion, then why am I smelling diesel fumes? Oh, that! That's my aftershave! Nothing drives the lady robots crazy like a few dabs of burning hydrocarbons behind the audio sensors. Oh yeah! All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. I'm enjoying all this bedding. It means I'll be able to go back to my lab that much sooner. That's a little too much crossfire for this robot. I'm out. Are you freaking kidding me? The player has three of a kind. Brock has a pair of tens. The player wins. Ah, uh, well, sure, even Dean could have won with those cards. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Wow, I, uh, really didn't see this coming. I did, but I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Surprise. Don't be alarmed. Okay, be alarmed. Nice to see I'm not the only one who can get goaded into a horrible decision. The player has a pair of eights. Sam has a straight. Yeah, you probably should have gotten out of that hand. Sam wins the hand. Hey, I won! Neat! I like the cut of these cards jib. I'm in. I didn't realize cards had jibs. Or that you could cut them. Checking. Wow! A check! I'll alert the media. Check? Have you been merchandised yet, Claptrap? Have I been merchandised? My image is plastered on so much crap that even I'm getting sick of it. Coffee mugs, t-shirts, feminine hygiene products, and that's not even counting the 43 different action figures. Action figures? Oh, yeah. You want one? Yeah. Well, not for me, of course. It's for my, uh, friend, Max. Don't go dragging me into your arrested adolescence. Tell you what. Meet me behind the inventory after the tournament? And I'll set your friend up with a rare mid-condition worm-dancing claptrap. Yes! 
I mean, I'm sure Max will be very happy. Jack and Hmm. I'll bet. I'll fold. Sam takes the pot. Hey, I won again. I wonder what that means. It means you're on a roll, baby. Bet everything! I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. a good idea? Because honestly, I don't really know what I'm doing. Am I eating crazy chips, or did you used to have a different voice? Oh, you mean more like this? Hello! That's it! What happened to it? Criminals used to laugh at me. They said my voice was too goofy, so I got a voice coach. And now, when I say freeze, dirtbags, the dirtbags really freeze. Okay, but what's his excuse? Uh, Max just fell in love with his Jason Alexander impersonation one day, and it kind of stuck. Considering the alternatives, I kind of dodged a bullet there. And hey, what is the deal with antipasta? Does it blow up when it touches regular pasta? I mean, come on! Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I think I'll call. All in. Who the what now? Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. The player has a pair of jacks. Sam has a pair of fives. The player wins the hand. Sam has been eliminated and will be removed by his partner's illiteracy. Cuckoo banana pismo? Max, no! <laughs> To the editor's desk! You and me in a big pile of chips! Just like the robot gods intended! Claptrap steals the pot. I raise. I'll bet this much. Claptrap steals the pot. If this keeps up, I may have to upgrade my chassis to store all my money! Mr. Funny Chips has a pair of jacks. The player has a pair of jacks. The player wins with a queen kicker. Well... Hold on! I need to 
to turn on my internal camera so I can get a recording of your jaws dropping when I go all in, baby. Ooh, this is not going to end well. Claptrap has ace high, and our silent friend has a pair of fours. The player wins the hand. Let the bounty challenges be spun anew! If you'll all be so kind as to ante up. Sure, why not? Call! I call. I call. <laughs> Checo Rema. Uh. Oh, but. Damn, G. Look at all that cheddar. Raise. Yeah. Fold. Nice to see I'm not the only one who can get goaded into a horrible decision. So you're Ash Williams. That's what it says on my library card. I'm all fucking in. Really? Looks like you backed poor old Claptrap into a corner. Call. Great day in the morning. Whoa. Oh, come on. Mr. Trap has a pair of fours, Mr. Samson has a pair of nines, and you have a pair of nines. The player wins with the jack kicker. Brock Samson has been eliminated. This is a joke, right? I'm not very good at jokes, but here's one. What's yellow and black and red all over? What? Brock Samson if he doesn't leave this table. Ah, good one. Claptrap has been eliminated and will be textualized. Textualized? Claptrap Babushka Nito! Oh, come on! That's not even close! You know, that book needed more comic relief.
I fall. Check. Check. It's a lot easier deciding which dead eye to shoot. Wake up and smell the chips. Yep, that's a tough decision, all right. All in. Great day in the morning. Ash grabs the pot. Don't kick yourself. I would have folded too. But, you know, in a manlier way. Call. Check. Check. Checko. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I'm not sure what you're trying to do here, but it's not working. Call. Call. Check. Check. Okay, then. Ah, I'm in. This is what I get for listening to the voices in Max's head. Check. Ooh, ah, fireworks noises. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, raise. Yow, tough call. The player has three of a kind. And Mr. Williams has a pair of nines. The player wins. Well done. Now we'll see how you do when I'm not stacking the deck in your favor. Think, think, think. Let's supersize that. Nope. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Eleven percent of all poker moves are checks. That's not an interesting statistic, but neither was your check. All in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Hmm. Cool. The player has ace high, and Ash has a pair of aces. Ash wins the hand. It's good to be the king. You know, I love a moody noir setting as much as the next hard-boiled cop-like guy, but do you think you could turn up the lights a little? I'd like to get a better look at the cockroaches nibbling my toes. I'm afraid I can't do that, Sam. And those aren't cockroaches. Can't or won't. Management froze me out of the lighting systems after I created a strobe effect to induce seizures in a bus full of Freemasons. It was an illuminating experiment. All in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Crap! Crap! 
Ash has a pair of jacks, and the player has a pair of queens. The player wins the hand. Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. Ouch. Wendy is gonna kill me. Well, not literally. At least I hope not. I don't really have a good track record on that front. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. I haven't seen a table clear that fast since Max's stuffed tripe Thanksgiving feast. The stuffing is tripe! Sure. The check is in the mail, and it just arrived, because it was overnight, and sorry, I don't know where I was going with that. I see you've decided to bluff your way through this hand. Oh, I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't have said that. My bad. Just remember, it's only a game. I fall. The player takes the pot. I call. <laughs> no sense rocking the boat now. I haven't seen so many weak-kneed checks since Max won the Eastern Bloc Karaoke Finals. Alles klar, de Kommissar? There's a fine line between brilliance and stupidity. I'm pretty sure we're all straddling it like a Lithuanian lap dancer. Check. The player has Jack High. Sam has Queen High. Sam wins with a queen kicker. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. I project a 0.05% chance that this tournament will end in bloodshed. Luckily, I don't have any blood. I'll check. Hmm. All the heck in. Sam takes the pot. I know this little winning streak is just random luck, but... In your face, suckers! <laughs> what he said. Looks like it's just you and me. I hope you brought some antibiotics, because this is gonna sting. I call. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Call. Hmm. Nope. The player takes the pot. I'll check. Check. Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I could call bets this small until the cows came home. Which makes me wonder why I'd be playing poker in a barn. Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I'll call. Check. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. Uh... Call? Sam has a pair of fours. The player has a pair of kings. The player wins. Thank <laughs> you.
It's time to raise the blinds to 800 and 1600. Do you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that I should put the two of you in the cryogenic unit, so that I can replay this tournament over and over at my leisure. But that would be wrong. All in. Sam takes the pot. If this doesn't drive you out of the hand, I'm gonna have to drag out Max's baby pictures. Yow, tough call. All in. Well, that's good, right? For me, I mean. Rats! Shazbot! Sam has Queen High, and you have a pair of twos. The player wins the hand. The player has won the tournament, rescuing Arthur's kingdom from the armies of darkness. As a reward for your service, you will be given this potion, three sips of which will put you into a magical slumber until you reawaken in time for the next tournament. Oh, was that two sips? <laughs> ah, you're awake. Welcome back. Welcome to the future, kid. I hope you like alien invasions. I told you these phony beards were a bad idea. Tonight's tournaments have a $20,000 buy-in. Let's make this quick. I have experiments to supervise. You've completed another set of bounty challenges. Hey, check it out, guys. I'm clean and shiny, like a baby's bottom or a Justin Bieber. Now look what you've done. You've triggered the inventory special table unlock policy allowing me to deploy several pieces of Aperture Science equipment. This will end well. I can feel it. I call. Call! Yeah, I'm in. Chekorema. I'll check that. Sure. 
Although usually a sign of a weak hand, a check can also be used to disguise a stronger hand. In your case, I'll assume it's a sign of confusion. I'll check. Hmm. Ready. Time for a strategic withdrawal. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't be scared by the chips. I call. I'm out. I'll check. Check. Checko. Ecce, Uther's Lay. The little robot has a pair of kings. Sam has ace high. Claptrap wins the pot. You thought I was bluffing? Sucks to be you! What was that? I am attempting to ascertain what's so special about an ordinary set of poker equipment that it would oblige the owners of the inventory to assemble these so-called theme tournaments. Maybe it was magic. Magic, of course. And here I was wasting my time looking for fluctuations in the quantum foam. I'll just adjust my scanners to check for genies, leprechauns, and wizards. Don't forget demons. Those SOBs are always up to something. Of course they are. You folded? I didn't predict that. Now I have to reprogram my AI again. Destroy all humans. Down with the new flesh. I go. I don't know. This pot needs a little Samsonite. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. Raise. Oh, jeez. All in. Whoa. Heh, let's go all in. Woo, nice. Booyah! Mr. Funny Chips has two pair. Rock Samson has two pair. Claptrap wins with the higher pairs. There must be a glitch in the Matrix, because I got deja vu! Mr. Samson has been eliminated from this experiment. Let's raise. <laughs> oh, sorry. These cards just reminded me of something Funny Mac said about sucking chest wounds. Fold. Call, fold. It's all the same to me. Celsius is the optimum temperature to keep the game moving. 
In the future, you might want to wear an undershirt. Luckily, I'm already covered in fur. And my toe's a thermostat. And I have a miniature fusion reactor keeping me warm. Swell. I'll check that. I'll check. I'll check. Hmm. I call. That's all? Really? I call. <laughs> I'm gonna check. Check. Checorama. Spicy. This hand just overloaded my bluff buffer. Who dug it? That's a lot of small hands. I'll fold. Fold. The player takes the pot. I'll fold. Call. I'll check. Come on, Ash, it's only money. All in. Great day in the morning. Oh, Sam, think of all the ham dingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I fold. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. The player has two pair, and Mr. Williams has a pair of sevens. The player wins. Mr. Williams has been eliminated. Sorry I couldn't have given you a better game. Next time I'll try not to leave my brain out in the Oldsmobile. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. Can I expect to enjoy the next thrilling multi-chapter adventure of the Freelance Police? Sorry, Jane. Max and I are just trying to enjoy the downtime. We haven't been this busy since the 90s. Downtime, clown time. Tell you what, you come over to Gearbox, we'll have you guys set up in a Borderlands 2 expansion pack tooth suite. I don't know. We're not really first-person shooter material. Speak for yourself, Sam! All in. Who the what now? I fall! Sam takes the pot. Don't be discouraged. Running in fear is a pretty natural response to a six-foot-tall dog with a gun. So, anyway... The little guy might be a wee bit overpowered, though. We might have to nerf him a few degrees. Nope. Sam makes off with the blinds. More chips for me? I don't know what to say. Try your booty, Sam. <laughs> Auto fold activated. I didn't really look at my cards, but I'm calling anyway. Check. The player has a pair of nines. Sam has queen high. The player wins the hand. I think I'll call. That's a check. I'm 
gonna check. Okay, Claptrap, keep it cool. Don't stare at the money, or it'll think you're a creep. I raise. What's it like living in black and white? Well, that's actually an old wives' tale, like the one about representative democracy. Dogs can see in color. It just looks like this. Whoa! I am totally tripping balls right now. We can also see fear and smell sarcasm. Ew! Impressive! Claptrap steals the pot. That's right! You better run! So like I was saying... <laughs> hey, it works! I call. Checko. Remember, it's only a game. I fall. You don't know what you're doing, do you? I'm all in. Great day in the morning. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. <coughs> Little robot has two pair, and our silent friend has two pair. The player wins with the higher pairs. I enjoy these little games. I enjoy them even more when they're bigger. The blinds are now 800 and 1600. Whose bright idea was it to give me one of those stupid fuzzy logic circuits? Call in! See what I did there? I call. Check. Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I'll check. Fudge. All in. Really? Ooh, a fall. Sneaky. Claptrap has a pair of twos. Sam has two pair. Sam takes the pot. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. Mr. Trap has been eliminated from the tournament. Clap Trap, out! Oh, great. How am I gonna make small talk with a mute? I wanna see what happens when these cards get together with their royal buddies. What to do? What to do? What to do? All in. Sam takes the pot. Winning streaks are like dating a beautiful woman. Enjoy them while you can, because it's only a matter of time before they dump you for being weird and clingy. off with the blinds. Never bet against a freelance policeman on the edge of his seat. What's a dazzling urbanite like yourself doing in a dive like this anyway? 
You mean besides taking all your money? The player has been invited by the owner to add spice to tonight's game. That probably explains the overwhelming smell of oregano. Pet! 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 Oh, hush. Check. Hmm. All in. Sam takes the pot. Fudge. All in. Good for you. You know what they say, when fate closes a door, luck opens a window, and karma deactivates the alarm system. Cakes. Sam has a pair of threes, and the player has a pair of threes. The player wins with an ace kicker. Sam has failed to meet the fiscal requirements for this experiment. Whee! <laughs> Has won tonight's tournament. I bet you think you're pretty clever, don't you? I say. But consider your competition. A steroid freak with rage issues. A horny robot. A half-witted cripple. And a dog. And even then you needed luck to win. Lots and lots of luck. I wonder how you'd do under less favorable conditions. <laughs> Just kidding. I would never kill you in public. all take your seats, we can get started. As always, the tournament buy-in is $20,000. And now for another bounty challenge. Oh, this is embarrassing. You've completed a slate of our most grueling bounty challenges. But we appear to have run out of bounty items. The tournament is being controlled by aliens. Pay no attention to that. Ah! A rare GLaDOS personality core! A fitting bounty indeed! No, it's really not. Trust no one. Whoever wins the tournament will take the core as a prize! To claim the bounty, all you have to do is win the tournament. I think I'll call. I'm in. Call. I'll check. Check. Well... All right. All in. Ah, oh, fuzz nuggets. Don't be scared by the chips. Don't 
be scared by the chips. Nope. You should know that a Williams never bluffs. Except when we do. Woo! Ah, hell. <laughs> That's eight cards of crap and a five-card hand. Damn, G! Look at all that cheddar! Nah! Jeez. The player has three of a kind, and Ash has two pair. The player wins. Nice hand. Almost as nice as this one. Ash has been excised from this experiment due to insufficient funds. Ah! so funny. Well, I just realized that you're a dog playing poker. <laughs> playing poker! I don't get it. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. He's gotta be bluffing, right? I can't. Steals the pot. Am I really that scary? I call. Call. Check. Don't feel bad. If I had your brain, I'd fold too. Not this time. Not this time! Sam takes the pot. You know, if you keep indulging my transparent dishonesty, I'm gonna have to run for Congress. I like the cut of these cards, Jim. I'm in. I didn't realize cards had jibs. Or that you could cut them. Ah, go. Check. 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 That's a check. Check. Mr. Trap has two pair. 
Brock has a pair of aces. The player has a pair of aces. Sam has a pair of aces. Claptrap wins the hand. It was secretly a ruse all along! I do know what I'm doing! <laughs> You know, I kind of thought your partner would be playing tonight. Max used to be a tournament regular, but he's got what the psychologists call crippling impulse control issues. Couldn't keep a lid on his gambling. Not in the slightest. But that didn't matter, because he kept winning. Well, then what's the problem? Well, the inventory banned him because, well... Max kept eating the poker chips. <laughs> there you are! Buy a lot of Bowie knives. Ah, oh, damn it, all in. Really? I wonder how many chips I could buy with those chips. Hmm, carry the three. <sighs> I'm going all in. Big mistake, Junior. Hey! A good thing! Mr. Funny Chips has a straight. Mr. Samson has a pair of nines. Claptrap wins the pot. The only thing better than winning is winning again! Brock Samson has been eliminated. You know, my mom warned me against playing poker with dogs, robots, cripples, and mutes. Guess I should have listened to her. These lines are too low for players of your obvious skill. Let's bump them up to 600 and 1200. Call! Call. <laughs> I have go kits assembled for 18 different end of the world scenarios. Claptrap steals the pot. Well, that was easy. Am I eating crazy chips, or did you used to have a different voice? Oh, you mean more like this? Hello! That's it! What happened to it? Criminals used to laugh at me. They said my voice was too goofy, so I got a voice coach. And now, when I say freeze, dirtbags, the dirtbags really freeze. Okay, but what's his excuse? Uh, Max just fell in love with his Jason Alexander impersonation one day, and it kind of stuck. Considering the alternatives, I kind of dodged a bullet there. And hey, what is the deal with antipasta? Does it blow up when it touches regular pasta? I mean, come on! And I'm out. The player takes the pot. If you had cards like these, you'd pay anything to see the flop. But for now, I'll just call. I'll check. <laughs> Jackaroonie! Hey Max, what do you think I should do? Oh, I don't know. Maybe get it looked at by a real doctor this time? About the hand, chucklehead. Oh! Check! <laughs> Checking! Nothing like the thrill of high-stakes poker. Check. <laughs> 
Let's get this party lubricated! I call. Mr. Trap has Ace High. Sam has a pair of tens. Sam wins. You didn't stand a chance once I decided to win. Fold. I like these cards. Not like-like. That'd be weird. <laughs> Checorema. You're more emotional than most of the robots I've met. All CL4P TP general purpose robots are equipped with 8th generation emotive resonators, allowing them to mimic a panoply of human emotions, ranging from sarcastic sympathy to wildly unbridled enthusiasm. The player has Queen High. Sam has a pair of jacks. Sam wins the hand. Hey, I won again. I wonder what that means. It means you're on a roll, baby. Bet everything! Anywho, so you don't actually feel emotions, you just fake them? There's a difference? Uh, let me get back to you on that. I'll check that. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Check. I think your mouth's writing checks that haven't been properly endorsed. Humans write checks with their mouths? Ew! That... We spend more money than that on gun oil. In a week. Hold on. Why do we go through so much gun oil? Anyway, call. Are you sure about that? I checked. Uh, I think I'll bet. And I'm out. Sam takes the pot. Uh, just so you know, I was bluffing my butt off in that hand. It's time to raise the blinds to 800 and 1600. Sorry about the hands. I just have to check you for listening devices. I'll raise that! I call. the pot. Call! Call? I'll check. Check, check, check. Such a boring word. I bet. I call. <laughs> I'll check. Bet. Uh, Just remember, it's only a game. I fall. Good for you. Are you sure a bet of that magnitude is wise for someone in your delicate financial bracket? 
I'm calling and I don't know why. The little robot has three of a kind, and our silent friend has a flush. The player wins the hand. Cool hand, Skywalker! The robot from Pandora is out of chips. Darn it! I forgot to turn on my poker supper team! Can I get a do-over? Your question is activating my rarely used giggle center. Tee-hee. Crap! Hey, look, we're the only players left. Darwin's probably spinning in his grave. I'll call. All the heck in. Sam takes the pot. You didn't stand a chance once I decided to win. What's a dazzling urbanite like yourself doing in a dive like this anyway? You mean besides taking all your money? The player has been invited by the owner to add spice to the nice thing. That probably explains the overwhelming smell of oregano. All in. Oh, no. Asterisks. Sam has a pair of nines, and you have a pair of nines. The player wins with a queen kicker. Oh, no, it's the puppet master. I know too much. Congratulations, you won. I hope you weren't expecting baked desserts, because I don't do that anymore. Take me now before she uses her mind bullets. Keeping your seat warm while you've been away. The buy-in, please. Sand's getting interesting or stupid. Check. <laughs> oh yeah, I definitely made the right decision. I scrape bigger bets than that out of my tire treads. Welcome to the party, kid. Call. Brock has Queen High. 
The player has a pair of sevens. The player wins. <laughs> I hope all this trash is recyclable. I think I'll call. I'll stay in, cause I'm crazy. Checking! <laughs> I'll bet. So, Sam. Why don't you take off your jacket? Two reasons. First of all, I paid a team of highly skilled artisans a metric butt-ton of money for this new suit. So I'm gonna show it off like a trophy wife at a back-to-school night. And the second reason? All in. Big mistake, Junior. Oh, what the hell. All in. Claptrap has a straight. Rock Samson has a pair of sixes. Claptrap wins. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Brock Samson has been eliminated. Well, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go blot this evening out of my head with a bucket of Milwaukee's finest. Anyhow, underneath this jacket, I'm sweating like a fat guy in a walk-in humidor. Yeah, thanks for sharing that. Seriously, my pits are so swampy, there are probably manatees swimming around in there. Check it out! Oh. So anyway, I'm keeping it on. Check. 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 Interesting. No, wait, what's the opposite of that? I could bet. Bet. Nope. This is shaping up to be what my granny used to call a mother bleeping fudge bath. I'm out. Ooh, impressive. <laughs> Your boldness is palpable. I'm betting! Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Fold! The player takes the pot. I ought to stay out of his hand! But there seems to be something wrong with my probability crunchers. So please, 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 don't take advantage of me while I'm incapacitated, okay? What was that? I am attempting to ascertain what's so special about an ordinary set of poker equipment that it would oblige the owners of the inventory to assemble these so-called theme tournaments. Maybe it was magic. Magic, of course. And here I was wasting my time looking for fluctuations in the quantum phone. I'll just adjust my scanners to check for genies, leprechauns, and wizards. Don't forget demons. Those SOBs are always up to something. Ash grabs the pot. That was easy. Too easy. Anyway. Of course they are. I fall. I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking, and it's making my brain hurt. Oh, hell no! <laughs> oh! Hmm. Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. Yeah, I'm in. I see. I raise. Hmm. 
Not bad. Not really good, but not bad. I'll fold. The player takes the pot. You appear to be nodding off. Let's see if moving the blinds up to 600 and 1200 gets your attention. I call. I'll call that. All in. Great day in the morning. Call? I'm out. Chekorema. Ooh, decisive. Check. Checko. The player has Queen High. Ashley has Ace High. Sam has King High. Ash wins with an Ace Kicker. Boom. Are we sure these chips are safe to touch? I've had some bad experiences with interdimensional portal thingies. I wouldn't worry about it. To date, over 578 million objects and organisms have passed through aperture science portals with insignificant side effects. Define insignificant. Approximately 0.002% of all objects that pass through a portal acquire trace amounts of fractal positronic antimatter in the process. All in. <coughs> I'm going all in. Ah, fuzz nuggets. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Mr. Trap has. A flush, and Mr. Williams has two pair. Claptrap wins the hand. You thought I was bluffing? Sucks to be you! Ash has been eliminated from the tournament. You guys are all ringers, aren't you? Fold. Overcompensating for something. I fall! The player takes the pot. I call. Check. Think, think, think. I bet. Hmm. Ah, oh, well. It was worth a shot. A series of painful rabies shots. You can't spell fold without fold. Claptrap steals the pot. Thanks for the free money, everybody! Calling? I'll raise. Living in black and white. 
While that's actually an old wives' tale, like the one about representative democracy, dogs can see in color. It just looks like this. Whoa! I am totally tripping balls right now. We can also see fear and smell sarcasm. Ooh! Impressive! <laughs> hey, it works! Sam takes the pot. It's about time. I was starting to feel like... like... A useless cog in an engine of despair. Um, no. But thanks for making me lose my train of thought. The blinds have been increased to 800 and 1600. I call. Jack a Rudy! <laughs> not bad. Not really good, but not bad. Hmm, carry the three. You know what? It's time to raise a mother loving roof on this pot! I fold. I don't want to alarm you, but I think you're having a psychotic break. Really? Raise. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I call. The little robot has a pair of eights, and the player has two pair. The player wins the hand. Uh, I'm going on this. Great day in the morning. Oh, Sam. Think of all the hamdingers we could buy with that. <sighs> Shh, I'm thinking. I fall. Good for you. Claptrap has a pair of nines, and our silent friend has two pair. The player wins. Claptrap has run out of chips and will be removed from the table. Whoa! Ow! Looks like it's just you and me. I hope you brought some antibiotics, because this is gonna sting. You remind me of someone. Everyone reminds you of someone, Sam. That's it. You remind me of everyone. And no one. <laughs> Weird. Is that a big bet? I've kind of lost track. I'll call. Well, that was a clever move that won't come back to bite you in your ample posterior. <sighs> I'm drawn deader than Zombie Picasso. The player has a full house. Sam has two pair. The player wins the hand. You know what they say. Lucky in hearts, unlucky in love. Oh wait, that's a bad thing, isn't it? The player has won tonight's tournament. I bet you think you're pretty clever, don't you? I say. But consider your competition. 
a steroid freak with rage issues, a horny robot, a half-witted cripple, and a dog. And even then you needed luck to win. Lots and lots of luck. I wonder how you'd do under less favorable conditions. Just kidding. I would never kill you. In public. 